Hey everybody, it's Josh with Resort TV One and I am live from a very stormy, but still kind of tranquil, Epcot. Super excited to be here with you and show you this storm as it comes in. I am covered right now, so I'm safe. Uh, and I'm right by this building here, so I'm not actually gonna be getting wet. Uh, I'm gonna be standing here and being safe because there's a lot of lightning. But I did wanna show you what it, see what it looks like when one of these severe storms comes through here, so. Uh, luckily, if it gets bad, I've got a door right behind me, so all I have to do is just jump right in here and I'm good. So don't worry, I'm being safe, but uh, definitely wanted to show you this as it comes in. So yeah, either way, I just thought you might like to see it. So either way, like I, 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 I was going to sit in the restaurant and just watch it pass, but I thought, well, you guys can sit with me. Why not? But I am, I am totally covered and we're good. <clears throat> see, totally covered. So don't worry, we're good. <laughs> we're good. It does. It does look like uh, it does look like I'm in an unsafe place, but I am totally fine. So you can see there's a roof over me, and uh, you got a door right behind me, and I can be right inside in just a couple seconds. So hey, Amanda. Yeah, don't worry. I'm under cover. But it's coming up from the southwest, or the north. Well, wait a minute. Yeah, it's kind of coming from southwest to northeast but it's coming across uh, from west to east. So it's very, very warm and balmy right now. And that cold front is meeting this warm air and uh, it's definitely stirring up some things. Yeah, either way, so don't, I appreciate you guys uh, worried, but again, I'm, I'm right under a roof and I'm right by a door. So I can, I'm not gonna go anywhere. I'm not gonna ride anything until this is over. So don't worry, we're good. It is angry for sure. Give me a shout out, by the way. Thank you for covering this for sure. MH Bauer, absolutely. Absolutely. I come over here, stay under cover, but get another picture or two. It's just so cool. You don't get this opportunity very often, and if you can stay safe, why not? The tree is kind of in the way, but I'm not going. I'm not going out there at this point. It is too dangerous to go out there. The people walking out there should not be. Ontario, Canada is really bad right now. Very slushy. Hi Amanda. Oh, no reason to freak out. We're hopefully you're in a safe place. We're in a safe place here, so we're all good. This is a really strong storm. Yeah, we're in a good place. We're gonna stay here. So don't worry. It looks worse. I'm showing you what it looks like out in front of me. I'm actually undercover, so but I appreciate all the concern. And if it gets bad, I just duck right inside. Storm chaser. Nope, I'm gonna stay right here. <laughs> so. Yeah, this is probably one of the worst I've seen here. It's actually not raining yet. It is about to come down. In just a couple, I believe in just a few seconds, it's gonna come down. Oh yeah, it's kind of raining now. Let me back up here a little bit. Goodness. Oh, here it comes. No, they don't require people to stay inside. They believe everybody has to be uh, safe on their own. So, but yeah, we'll probably may have some 60 mile an hour gusts, so we'll see. But yes, it is beautiful to see. So again, I'm undercover, lightning rods everywhere, uh, and I'll duck in the building if it gets too bad. I think a lot of us probably will duck in the building if we need to. But it is, it is, uh, this is not one that you want to mess around with for sure.
We got a possible tornado in Tampa out of the storm. Oh my goodness, I just got a cold blast under here. Cold blast of wind, guys. That is insane. It was, it's literally a 20 degree difference right there. Okay, and here it comes. Oh man. <laughs> That's the one. Coming in hot. Wow. Oh, we're gonna come inside for a second. <laughs> wow. Okay. You got stuck in Dinoland during a big storm once? That's crazy. Yeah, you gotta be careful for this stuff. Let's see. If I can keep it from blowing in at me, I'd be okay. And I'm way, way under here. Yeah, if I can stay in this corner, I might be okay. If not, I'll duck inside. The, my, I don't think they're going to do B-mode luminous. This is going to be done by 7. I think we'll get a full luminous, but who knows. All right, here comes the big rain. If it doesn't blow in here, we'll be okay. If not, I'll jump inside. Tornado warning. Oh, my goodness, Jennifer. Yeah, be careful. I'm care I'm, I'm under, under nope. here. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, she's right. <laughs> Whew, it's blowing me in. Blowing me in. It's still blowing. We're in the building now and it's still blowing. Tell you what, let's go in the breezeway. We can see a little bit better there. Let's go in the breezeway. That was my alternative spot. Don't worry, I'm I'm not uh, I'm not gonna be dumb. On a dark and stormy night at Epcot, we can drink Tranquil Tuesday. Why not, right? Why not? Okay, there's still people outside. I don't know why. This fan, 9212, $5. Hey, Josh. Uh, stay safe as far as the weather. It is currently raining, cold and windy with the possibility of snow and low temps tomorrow morning. Oh, wow. Here it comes. Most people are inside now. This is actually a little bit better right here. Well, thank you so much, uh, Diz fam. We appreciate it. Yeah, it's a huge storm all the way up in Wisconsin. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Carol. Yep, I'm staying out of it. They can't close the door, so I don't know. All the doors are staying open. Hi, how are you? Good. DJ. DJ, have we met before? No. Okay. Okay. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, that's a good idea. You guys having fun? Oh, yeah, have a great time. Excellent. Yeah, stay safe. <laughs> you guys have fun, okay? You too. Genie TV4 says I have the same weather. Yeah, it's actually kind of, uh, it's it, this thing goes, what, what is it, well over a thousand miles, doesn't it? I don't know, somebody tell me. It's all the way, somebody said it's all the way up to the north. So, I'm going this breezeway and we can see a little better and still stay out of it. Now, I'm not not an extreme storm chaser for sure, but I, you know, I don't, I like watching them as long as you can stay safe. So let's, let's go in here. And we should be able to see it a little better for you guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're in the breezeway. Totally safe. And here we are. Oh, it's, it's Josh, but hi. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> we like Ron, too, though. She knows I watch you guys. Oh, it's all good. Oh, I'm sorry. You're totally fine. This is Resort TV1. You're totally fine. It's fine. <laughs> So it's okay. It's okay. Is Jenna here? No, it's just me tonight. I'm the only crazy one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Can we say hi to our friends? Of course. Hi. Hi, hi friends. Thomas and Aaron. We miss you. Aw. That's awesome. Love you guys so much. Aw. You guys have fun. Yeah, you too. Uh, Spider Man is here. Wow. Oh my goodness. Spider-Man is here with a $100 super chat. My goodness, Spider-Man, let me back up a little bit so I stop getting wet. <laughs> Spider-Man's here with a $100 super chat. And uh, he says, hey, Josh, just landed in Bogota, which is an event in itself. Love that, love that you are facing the weather to bring us this stream. You are the man. Thanks, Spider-Man. It's so good to see you in the stream and in the chat. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's getting worse. Thank you so much, Spider-Man. Look at it coming in there. I may have to retreat. Let's go this side. <laughs> Let's go to this side. 
That's the, this is the, uh, that was the windward side. <laughs> is that a thing? I don't know. Maybe I said that wrong. Ah, thank you, Spider-Man. They're very, very kind. So, thank you. This Jim, Tan Jim Cantori jacket here. <laughs> thank you so much, Spider-Man. Appreciate it. Our weather isn't that angry, but it's raining here all day here in Roanoke, Virginia. Wow. You need an in-house in in weather person? New wow. Uh, Mar and Mara says, new member at the platinum level, Energy Entertainment. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, Energy Entertainment. We appreciate that so, so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. So appreciated. So thank you to Energy Entertainment, and thank you so, so very much to um, Spider-Man for the generous super chat. And also, let's thank our Platinum members overall. We have, we have several Platinum members, and this is, this is better on this side. So the wind is blowing from the other way, so you can still see it, but uh, we're not getting it as much over here. <laughs> so that's good. Uh, but we have, uh, we have several Platinum members. We now have Energy Entertainment, uh, Jalen Moxley, Will Miller, Christopher Black, Amy Moore, Jack Sparrow, Go Mini, James Hahn, Maker Emily, Ali Barissimo, and Alan Jay, each pledging $50 to the channel to help us out. So we appreciate that so, so very much. It was earlier before the stream. Thanks, Amara. Appreciate it. The rain came through Jacksonville not long ago. Okay. Well, it's not. It's so far, it's kind of lightened up a little bit. I just, I'm trying to stay all around, all the way around it. Oh, no, we didn't talk about, we're trying to stay kind of behind it a little bit, but we didn't talk about the puppy yet. No, he's uh, he's doing good. He's doing the puppy. He's he's gotten more comfortable with this. He's doing the puppy thing where he bites all the time. So we're working with him on it. You know, you got to train him. So, hey, he's a good boy. I think his teeth are just bothering him. And you can tell he feels bad. So. But did the emergency alert stop the stream? Here we go. We're back. Sorry, I didn't know I had to stop the stream and restart it. Yep, totally got a tornado warning. Everything started going crazy. Wow. People still walking. No, that it, it went off all the, went, everything went off. I think we're okay. Don't worry, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm nowhere. I'm behind this wall here, and I can go inside if I need to. I'm right by the door, so we're good. Yep, I'm totally safe, guys. Yeah. So anyway, we're 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 in good shape. But that was this little crazy here. It's east of us. I don't think it's gonna hit here, but I could be wrong. I love how like the Spaceship Earth show is just going on right now. No big deal. That's crazy. Get on the Skyliner. No, thank you. <laughs> Woo! Um, yes, I normally have the streaming phone and do not disturb, but um, emergency alerts take priority over do not disturb. There are still people walking in it. Why? Why are you walking in this right now? Why? Skyliner. A Skyliner is 100% shut down. It's located over SeaWorld. South of us heading east. It's just east of Epcot and moving northeast. Okay, so it's not going to hit here. So what, I don't know if you can see it from here, but literally the Spaceship Earth show is happening right now. Wild Times, Pennsylvania is Wind Central. It, it is Wind Central here too. I'm gonna be the I'm gonna do the Jim Cantori thing and start, you know, flying around here. I'll put my parachute up and we'll go. Yeah, literally. I don't know how that's happening, but Spaceship Earth is having a show right now. I guess they just still do the show no matter what. My husband is working Skyliner. Oh, I'm sure they've got them inside and safe. Thunder snow is the best, guys. 
<laughs> I love that they're doing the show. Here's the globe. I'm not going any further out there. Did you guys hear the tornado warning on my phone before it went off? Thousand mile. Thousand mile storm, that's crazy. It's not gonna last long. Yeah, because it, it came on my streaming phone right away. It's actually calming down here quite a bit, so. And again, we're undercover the whole time. Heard it for a split second and then a lag. Okay. All good. Check the radar and see how we're doing here. Uh, oh wow. Okay, so yeah, we got lucky. Uh, we missed the we missed the purple. The purple is south of us. Time to ride test track. Got test tracks one on one for sure. So we're almost out of it actually. Good deal. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Good to see you guys. <laughs> Sorry guys, I was trying to wipe off my phone. Yeah, we do have rain for sure. Well, the line for Guardians is virtual queue. I did check it to see if I could get on it even though there's quote unquote tranquil. Stressful Wednesday. That's right. Yes, I'm going to be careful for sure. Uh, any chance we can see Piglet float by in a chair? Maybe. Who knows? Oh, being in the journey of water when the skies open up? Yeah, that would be pretty crazy. So it's calmer on this side. Just stopped raining in Tampa about 10 to 15 minutes ago. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna go till about seven here. So once it calms down a little bit, um, I'll probably head over to Spaceship Earth and ride that. I want to make sure the lightning's calmed down before we do that. Just to be safe. Like I said, yeah, I'm not trying to be foolish here. And we could go shopping, but I thought you'd like to see the weather, so we'll do that for a few more minutes, and then we'll go shopping or we go Spaceship Earth or something. All right, my goodness, guys, it was a balmy, almost 80 degrees not 15 minutes ago and now it's dropped it's probably dropped down to like 50 uh it's nine or 60. so uh i think the worst has passed us typhoon tuesday there we go should do one of those tornado warning at disney world <laughs> even though there was no tornado here <laughs> no i'm not gonna do that most well, streamers stop vlogging at stip reason josh is out here hanging on like a sea captain <laughs> Arr, she blows. <laughs> Just kidding. I like I said, I'm I'm safe, but yeah. Living with the land until the seas cover it. Yeah, the worst has passed us. A spaceship Earth explodes. I had this weird vision, not a nightmare, but like a weird, like just random daydream as I was walking in here. I was like, what if um what what would we, you know what if it was a stiff breeze and pushed spaceship earth off its pedestal and you know, I'm on the ride. I'm just kidding. That's like not even really possible, but that would be crazy. Whew. Yeah, micro adventure is definitely colder than the 73 now. Yeah, creamer is a significant, okay. significant uh, temperature gradient. Yes, it is. A dude was wearing bags on his feet because his shoes were important. <laughs> hey, Janice. Hey, Annette. The rotation is actually just west of Indy Airport. 
Liam and I, Liam and I saw a semi-funnel cloud. Wow. Oh my goodness, Steph. Yeah, it looked like it was worse over where you guys are. So I'm glad you guys were inside and in the house. We're, we're fine here too. We're fine. We're all fine here. Stiff Breeze is my new rapper name. I love that so much. Yeah, we're being safe. Spaceship Perth rolling into the, the lagoon like the boulder rolling in. Yeah, exactly. Hey, surfer girl. Sheltered under Spaceship Earth during a lightning storm. Yeah, you can. Uh, it's, it's not great because the wind blows like crazy, but yeah, you can. Terrifying. Tuesday, I almost called the stream Turbulent Tuesday, but I was like, after the big rain, it's gonna be calmer. It's, there's supposed to be one more band to come through. Josh is a great meteorologist, years of marching band. Ooh, there it comes again. Oh man, thanks Streamfinder. Yeah, and guys, again, I'm I'm like behind a pole and under uh, undercover here. Hey, DBC Andy, how are you? Uh, Zano just became a member. Congrats on becoming a member, Zano. Appreciate it. Uh, should we get some? Should we get some Beverly? Judy Tench would still be soothing as the golf ball rolls into the game. It's like space balls. Thank you for pressing the self destruct button. Please hold your breath as we roll into the lagoon. Exits will be to your right and, well, everywhere. Yes. Anywhere you can get out. <laughs> uh, no, that's never going to happen. Actually, Spaceship Earth, the pylons for Spaceship Earth are sunk, I believe, what I read, nearly 100 feet into the ground. Uh, Zano says, don't know why I didn't do that earlier. Oh, no worries. We appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. I didn't see, um, but I appreciate you being a member. Uh, one of the moppers should tell me. Uh, bronze member, thank you so much. Whew, it definitely got it is just just frigid right now goodness <laughs> yeah exactly adam no we are under tornado warning right now but it's, it's going away from us Whew. yeah be careful we don't want to end up in the land of oz i know what happens if you get in a tornado in disney world you end up uh do you end up in Disneyland? I'm just kidding. Seriously, take this take the storm seriously. But you know, it, as long as you're being safe, it's fun to fun to joke around a little bit. Oh, Country Bear at uh, closing on the 27th. Whew! Goodness. Glad I brought my jacket. Okay. Let's see. What was I gonna do? Oh. Now let's. Uh, the, I think the worst is behind us. Let's grab. Uh, somebody said Beverly. Oh, yeah, let's grab some Beverly. I think that's a good call. <laughs> Jalen wants to watch both mine and Ron's at the same time. I mean, I think you can if, well, you, not on mobile. Yeah, you could You could if you had a, a, on your computer, I think. Yeah, just the computer. Maybe iPad if you did multitasking. Not sure. Well, it's nice in here. Nice and warm and dry. That's nice. Okay, here we go. Is it time for Beverly? Space River even budged. Everything and everyone else around it would not be around to see it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, here we go. It's time for Beverly. Kind of hard to do this with one hand, but we got this. Bottoms up. All right, here we go. It's weird. I've actually gotten used to the taste of it, so it doesn't bother me. Mm. Okay. My favorite one though is the watermelon. I think I think this is my favorite. Let me try it. Mm. Yep. Korea, though that one's good too, but it's not in stock right now. This is the one I can't stand, the sour plum from China. Don't like that one. I real don't really like the sprite that much. The Moldova is good. <laughs> That's funny, Will's oldest millennial. You're my hero. Why not, Bill? Why not? Mm. Hey, Christopher Black. Yeah, the watermelon's really good. This raspberry one's pretty good, too. It's kind of good to get in. The um, yeah, storm wasn't as bad as we thought. I mean, you wouldn't have wanted to be outside, but 
Um, like, I just thought you guys might like to see what it was like when it when it comes through. But anyway, really fun. Well, not really fun. You get sorry. It's really fun that I'm drinking this raspberry. The storm is not really fun, but it was good that it was not that not that bad. All right. Ah, that's a free drink, Jimmy. Uh, yeah, anybody can go in there and get um, get a drink from those stations. They don't, you know, they don't want you filling up your your whole big giant water bottle or something. But yeah, you can you can use the provided disposable cups, and you can get as many as you want. So it's always good to go in there and you know fill up on a good beverage. All right, so should we go do Spaceship Earth now that the now that it's like the rain's actually stopped? Yeah, let's go do Spaceship Earth. Why not? All right, here we go. I'm just gonna put my hood up so it's not so cold. Tessa, yeah, the rain's just a sprinkle now. So funny how fast it stops. The lightning stopped too. So we're good. As long as you're safe, a good rocking stun thunderstorm can be very entertaining. Exactly, yeah. So. Yep, I just, I like watching them. As long as you're safe, I, I enjoy watching the, you know, just the power of nature is cool to, to. Um, observe they'd have to pay me to drink Beverly and then I doubt I would you know it is kind of acquired taste I, I don't like black coffee but I know a lot of people do so it, I think it's kind of the same <sighs> yeah I didn't didn't look like the worst was going to last very long the monorails are running again I think those stops for a while yes Leif I saw that there's more coming so let's go over and do uh Let's go over here and do Spaceship Earth. I mean, it's right next to us, so we don't have to walk very far. And it's just, as you can tell here, it's just barely sprinkling now. So. Uh, 30 minutes after lightning stops, you have to ride the outdoor rides. But uh, the indoor rides are good to go because they are all protected and lightning rotted and all that fun stuff. Rainy day at Disney is better than no day at Disney. I agree. I do have my umbrella, but I don't really need it right this second because I'm almost undercover again. And by the time I get out of Spaceship Earth, the rain should be done for a little while there's a dry slot gonna come in behind it and then there's one more line it looks like it's gonna come through we'll do a walk on spaceship earth favorite place to get coffee i don't like coffee so <laughs> i'm not a good person to ask that Whew. rain has stopped and dr phillips yeah so it won't be that's not too far from here oh wow you can really see it coming down there it looks it's actually not doesn't feel that bad. Wowzers. It's a good it's a good video. Not a, that's not a good picture, but that's a good video. Thank you for streaming tonight. It's been very tense here. Helping me calm down some moment the coast of NC and the storm is starting to go and the wind's calming down. Yep. Yeah, I, I, you know, just stay inside and the tornado I think is the biggest concern and luckily uh we, we seem to have escaped that here. It was east of us and moving east, so luckily not coming this way. I've been in tornadoes before, I don't take them lightly. When I saw the tornado warning, I was like, okay, let's let's check this out. So I did. Well, we were standing there and you guys were telling me too. So we're all good. Yeah, storm's no fun for sure. Tor tornado's for sure. No fun. No boy, no. Now let's go ahead and get on this thing. Ooh, we lost the trash can. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's really windy under here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, we know it's windy under here, but wowzers. Maybe this was a mistake. It looks like the line's not moving right now. Maybe they got it shut down. We'll see what happens. Wawa has the best coffee. I'm from Philly, so we don't have to say that. We have to say that or they don't let us back in. That's too funny. Yeah, if we don't move, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll head back out. Oh, we are under cover of Giant Ball. There it goes. Perfect. Putting the wing guards to the test. Yep, they're on there. They are on there. There we go. Let's enjoy some spaceship Earth. Why not? Raider says you won't get dumped on until 8. 
Yeah, we'll see what happens there. Let me look at my look at my future radar here and see what happens. Yeah, so we're on the back side of it now. Let's see. Is SSE the highest point in Epcot? Yes, yes it is. Yeah, I believe it's 180 feet tall. Yeah, Journey of Water and Test Tracker closed, that's right. So we get a nice break like around... I don't know, maybe... 7 and then it looks like... At 8 o'clock we're done. No. According to this anyway. DVC family, uh, 499, Josh, our official Disney weather watcher, be safe. Thanks. I thought they were letting people on. Uh, Philly born and raised, yes, Wawa coffee's great. Well, there you go. Yeah, I don't, like, I'm not a coffee drinker, so I can't really say for sure. Um, it's interesting that it still, it still thinks that it's 70 something out here. It's not, for sure. Yeah, I think the worst is over too. Hey guys, don't forget to hit the like. Enjoy the stream. Oh, we might do soon for sure. Yeah, we do have Wawa's down here. Steph loves them, you know, they're a little nicer than your regular gas stations for sure. Uh, Steph is a uh, coffee drinker for sure. At NCO boarded on a plane right now, tornado warning just came through. Wow. <laughs> yeah, guessing tonight, American Adventure and the Precious Defense are doing a good business. Yeah, I could be. I wonder why they're not. They must have to run it all the way around. Not sure why. Ooh. Oh, that was that was because the lights went off for the for the show. And you said pop. Uh, you must be. Uh, I used to say pop too, uh, Amy. Um, you must be from the Midwest. People used to look at me funny when I said that. We love coffee too. Tim Hortons. There you go. Secret of life is a big cup of coffee. Don't call Wawa a gas station. It's a destination. Theo says it's a destination. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes when it goes down, they have to. They have to. Um, Oh, this is what can we say except you're welcome. Um, sometimes they um, have to run the whole ride through one time before they let anybody on it. Oh, let's talk about coffee. I need to make one. You fault us all. Jen and Tim would love start would say Starbucks. Yeah, for sure, Cindy. Hey, Wayne. Yeah, the every the all day hopping would be fun. I wish I could have shown that today, but of course I was working this morning. Hey Metallica. What can I say except you're welcome? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, guys. Check out Adventures of Jenna and Dale if you want to check out Jenna and Dale's vlogs. Also, if you want to check out um, uh, Retro TV One Tech, I've got lots of cool videos coming up. Apparently, uh, David, if you're still watching, I took about 120 gigabytes of footage when I fixed uh, the laptop, Carla. <laughs> We have, the, we have a name for the laptop. Tigger Gal. Oh, Tigger Gal became a bronze hopper. Thank you, Tigger Gal, for becoming a bronze hopper. Thank you so much. So, Tigger Gal 45. Thank you for becoming a, a hopper, bronze hopper member. People are like singing around, singing along down there. I love it. You're welcome. Yeah, see, it's it's barely raining out there at all now, so that's good. 
We're in a nice little dry spot, or dry slot is what the weather people call it. A lot of footage. Uh, yeah, I gotta hear the director's cut, maybe. Carla the computer, both start with C, that's right. <laughs> that's right, Stacy. She's all fixed up. Oh, we're gonna ride it. Jumping ship here. I wonder if it has anything to do with the storm. We might jump out of here in a minute. Let's see. Probably right when I jump out, though. I mean, it is moving. Right, right, right. When I jump out, they'll let people on. Somebody said about the two hidden Mickey's. Let's 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 look through that real quick. I think one is in is in the Earth, right? I mean, there's kind of one right. There's kind of one right here. One, two, three. And then is there another one somewhere? Uh, Tigger Gal says, "I just became a member. I love your streams and plan to be here more." Thanks, Tigger Gal. Very appreciative of that. Uh, Jose, I'm doing great. Thanks. Hope you are too. App says it's still open at five minutes. That's, yeah, so they they have to shut it down then. That's weird. I wonder if they're just waiting for the approval to um, to get going because it is moving. Oh well, we'll get there. We got plenty of time. So, all right, guys. So tell me where the hidden Mickey's are. Still laughing at the guy with the bags over the sneakers. Hey, I guess he liked the shoes. <laughs> He also wanted to be on TikTok. Everybody thinks I'm doing TikTok. What can I say except you like Don't know the rest of this song. He's in South Carolina. They gave us the day off. Wow. Yeah, Abby, we still had to work. We got we got to leave early, though. That's new. I don't remember people getting uh, days off for, for weather like that. Yes, I have the Vessies on. I'm glad you guys stayed safe, though. But yeah, I don't remember when I was a kid getting days off for like regular storms, only snowstorms. All right. uh, we'll give it a couple more minutes and then we'll go. It's three. In the three, there is one sideways. Like here? Right there? Okay. That's cool. I like that. I'm going to either, but I enjoyed the virtual day. That's cool, Abby. Oh, did you guys have virtual class? That's nice that, you know, one one nice thing uh, from COVID that we can do virtual school now. Um, and we, when we had our hurricane days, we didn't do anything virtual because we thought that, um, you know, the school was just like, some people might have not have internet. Let's just let people, just let people be. Uh, the park is very, very empty right now. They're not letting anybody in right now. They're letting people out and not in. Let's look at wait times real quick. All right, so uh, we've got the seas is um, five. So the land and Soren are five and fifteen. So we'll go do those here in a minute. Like I don't know, we may just have to jump out and do it. Pinellas had a full day today. Yep, we did too. We're over in Windermere. Weather was really bad around 5.30. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was a hit here right about that time. Maybe a little bit after. That's weird. I do, I do virtual life. Theo, you're too funny. We're going to be on the ride here in a minute. <laughs> we keep moving forward. Please take small children by the hand and watch your step onto the moving platform. The platform and your time machine vehicle are moving at equal speed. Yeah, they might do a they might do a full cycle. The That's what I'm doors seeing. on your time machine it should be soon, though. automatically. For your safety, remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle, and please watch your children. Please take small children by the hand and watch your step onto the moving platform. 
Wait, really two more minutes. We'll see if it's, it's here. I think it'll come to the park is how empty it looks. Yeah, that's the fun. On days like on days like this, it's so empty. If you can brave the rain a little bit. Your time machine vehicle are moving at equal speed. The sliding doors in your time machine will close automatically. For your safety, remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, oh, and legs zoomed. I was like, why is it so zoomed? Because I zoomed it. That's why. <laughs> Please take small children it's a fun view from here. and watch your step onto the moving platform. The platform is moving at the same speed as your time machine vehicle. Please take small children by the hand and watch your step onto the moving platform. The platform in your time machine Winter vehicle storm warning in Canada. Wow, be careful, Mark. That sounds like a good day to stay home. The sliding doors hit the on your like, time machine hit the like, everybody. For your safety, Hello, Allie. Two red and a black three. Yep, I saw that Roman and Alessandro. Yep, that's the that's the uh, the Mickey, I guess. Please take small children by the hand and watch your step onto the moving platform. The platform is moving at the same speed as your time machine vehicle. Please take small children by the hand and watch your step Windstorm in Buffalo. It's cool. The platform in your time not cool, I guess, but that's uh, interesting, I guess. The wind is not fun that's where the damage happens doors on your time machine will close automatically for your safety the lightning is the dangerous part and the wind is the damaging part and legs inside the vehicle please watch your oh children. yeah david that's exactly right yeah that first first smell please comes it seems to come out right there at this uh, this door right here uh diane says she loves the streams that's awesome thank you all right one more minute please take small children by the hand and watch your step on the moving platform the platform and your time machine vehicle are moving at equal speed. We just lost power in Ohio. Oh no. The sliding doors on your time machine will close automatically. For your safety, remain seated with your hands on the legs inside the vehicle and please watch your children. Please take small children by the hand and watch your children. I wonder if they are ever sell poster prints of Spaceship Earth. moving at the same speed as your time machine vehicle. Please take small children by the hand and watch your step on the moving platform. The platform on your time machine vehicle. Oh, the winds are why the school crows too closed, too dangerous for buses to cross the road. Oh, interesting. The bridges. Doors on your time interesting. Machine. Okay, that makes sense. Over there in Tampa, yeah, for sure. This is wondering why I'm holding her tightly by the hand. I told her that's what the guy on the stream is telling me to do. <laughs> yeah. Please take small children Please by the hand. small children by the hand and watch your step onto the moving platform. The platform is moving at the same speed as your time machine vehicle. Well. Please take small children by the hand and watch your step onto the moving platform. The platform and your time machine vehicle are moving at equal speed. The sliding doors on your time machine will close automatically. For your safety, remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle. And please oh, are they letting us out? Oh, they were just about to start it. Please take small children by the hand <laughs> and watch your step on <laughs> So I just said watch your children. Yes, that is important too. That's important. All right, I think we're leaving here in a second. I thought they were. take small children by the hand and watch your step on the moving platform. The platform and your time machine vehicle are moving at equal speed. The sliding doors on your time machine close automatically. For your safety, remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle. Ha, <laughs> yeah, Theo, for sure. <laughs> Uphill both ways, carrying Please a three-ton boulder. And watch your step on the moving platform. The yeah, we didn't even have newspaper for boots. <laughs> Please take small children by the hand and watch your step onto the moving platform. The I think they're going to let us out. The sliding doors of your time machine will close automatically. Yeah, they'll probably give us a fast pass for something, but that's okay. We don't really need it tonight, but that's all right. Maybe for a test track we could use it. Please watch your children. Please take small children by the hand and watch your step onto the moving platform. The platform is moving at the same speed as your time machine vehicle. Please take small children by the hand and watch your step onto the moving platform. The platform and your time machine vehicle are moving at equal speed. 
The sliding doors on your time machine will close automatically. For your safety, remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle. Looks like we're getting scanned, and then we're going to get to ride here in a second. Cool. Sweet. It was better than climbing over the railing because I saw they were about to do it. They are about to let people on, so I thought, well, yep, there we go, we're on. Okay. Sorry, this is, I know this is kind of annoying to hear this over and over again, but normally you don't have to stand here so long. Hi. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, there you go. And we're back. No, oh, maybe not. There we go, we're back now. Let's go in potato for a minute. It must be the weather out there making weird things for the connection. Oh, still weird. Okay, let's keep it low. We're going to keep it low. The phone figures out what it Thank <laughs> you. 
is now rotating backward. Please remain seated. Attention! You are now rotating backward for your return to Earth. Please remain seated, time travelers. Attention travelers, please remain seated. Your time machine is rotating backward for your return to Earth.
Cool. Well, let's head over to uh, the land. We're gonna do the land in Soren. Fun times. See, well, I think we can go out this way now. Oh yeah, right here. Or no, that's emergency exit, sorry. Where's the, is there only one exit now? Oh, it's right here. It's right here, okay, there we go. Let's see if it's raining or not. Okay, I'm gonna turn the bit rate up here in just a minute. I just, it's a little bit bad in that exit area sometimes. This should be fine now. Nope, oh, not raining at all. Can you please tell me how you get pictures of your head to come out in one piece? Uh, Corinne, that was lucky that time. I don't usually, <laughs> I don't usually get, get like, yeah. It usually is like, I'm in pieces too normally. People on the stream can attest to it. Look, Spaceship Earth is still beautiful. I'm a history nerd and the history of communications is told in a fun way. That's right. Hey, Leslie. Oh, 2,500 people in the chat. Please be sure to hit the like button for me. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go do Living with the Land and Soren. I bet the Living with the Land, uh, the lights are probably down. It's so fun to be on a path that we didn't have before. It's very dark, but you can still see it. I guess I could go to, uh, <laughs> there's the backside of Moana there. I guess I could go to the seas first, but I kind of need to use the restroom. So let's go through the land first and we'll do that. That'll be fun. It's like Moana's back open. I mean, we already technically did have a journey of water. <laughs> a journey of water right through the sky there. I hope everybody in the path of the tornado was safe. Yeah, I've been through one of those. Uh, one hit our house when we were, Jen and I were younger and uh, not fun, but we, we did okay. Luckily we had a very well-built brick house and it had some minor damage, but it was mostly okay. It started snowing in Milwaukee around 4 a.m. It hasn't stopped, oh my goodness. Wow, my trip can't come soon enough. I get that. <laughs> so I got a lightning lane that only goes for the rides that are five minutes, but you know what? At least they, they, uh, they did something, so that's fine. Hey, John. Yeah, we were in a tornado warning, but it wasn't headed towards us, and I was undercover at the time, so. Oh, but in, when, I, when we were growing up, yes, we were in a tornado warning, and we tracked it all the way, and how the odds of it hitting our house, you know, it's probably pretty small, but it did. <laughs> and it, it, it was actually, it actually had jumped, but we think it jumped back into a funnel cloud, but man, I will never, ever, ever forget the sound of the roof creaking. It felt like it was gonna go. Look at that. Beautiful. I got a super chat. I'm going to read it right when I get under the cover here. Awesome. Okay. Let's head back into the land. So it's like just sprinkling right now. It's not too bad. It's just chilly, but it's to be expected after a cold front comes through. All right. Yeah, so Emily, thanks for the super chat. Hope you guys had a good Tuesday. I really did almost call the stream Turbulent Tuesday, but I thought, eh, I don't think it'll be turbulent for most of the stream, so. All right. Uh, Emily, my goodness. You guys have been so generous tonight. Um, my door would open, there we go. Emily C. Uh, $20 Super Chat, thanks for braving the weather for us. Thanks, Emily for the super chat. I appreciate it. And you're very welcome. Oh my gosh, guys, look at the land. <laughs> There's like hardly anybody here. Okay, well, let's do this and then we'll do Soren. I'm sorry, I missed it. Uh, Crystal, what was earlier this morning? Treacherous Tuesday. There you go. <laughs> yeah, turbulent Tuesday was earlier this evening. We I mean, were just there last week, warmer than New Jersey, but Florida cold, it just hits different. It really does. The humidity, I think is what everybody says. It's eerie, so empty in here. Yeah, it really does. It really is kind of eerie. All right, so we are going to, I'm gonna 
put you guys on BRB. A really quick restroom break, and then we're gonna go do Soren. We gotta enjoy this because I don't think I, I don't think this goes for much longer. It's Soren over California, so let's try that. Here we go. We'll get the BRB going here. I remember when the balloons moved. I do too. I do too, Emily. I miss that. Oh, before we do that, we have Chrissy. Chrissy Viggs, uh, $10. Thanks for making my Tuesday infinitely better, Josh. Stay safe. I sure will, Christy. I sure will. All right, guys, I will be right back. Just using a quick restroom break, and then we'll be on our way to Soren. Welcome back, guys. Thanks for staying tuned. Sorry I had a little trouble getting my BRB to go off again. It's been a little sticky. <laughs> Meaning it sticks on. Oh, well. We should be back soon, soon, soon. There we go. And Mara says we're back. Back and better than ever.
Put the BRB back on, I'm kidding, yeah. Hey CM, how are you? Uh, let's see, what's my lightning lane good for? I got that lightning lane for the fact that Spaceship Earth took a while. Imagination, living at the land, mission space, the seas, Spaceship Earth, yeah. It doesn't say anything about soaring, that's weird. Huh, oh well, I don't think we're gonna need it here anyway. All right, who's ready to soar over California? I know I am. Yes, um, CNC Marine Salvage says it's bad here in South Carolina. Yes, I hope it passes through there quickly for you guys. Nice getting rain sometimes, but not that much all at the same time, right? <laughs> oh my goodness, somebody said the Verge Man said Crocs on the Land Pavilion elevator. I heard about that. They, some people got their croc stuck. Yeah, you gotta be really careful with that kind of stuff. Wishing I was there, except dry. Hope you're enjoying the tranquility of everyone vanishing. Yeah, see, I'm for sure. It's, I'm not that wet because I've been inside the most of the time. I'm pretty, actually, completely dry right now. Hey, Jen. Yay. <laughs> Come on, baby, hold together. Tara says, yeah, we're good. We're good. That's right, Jalen. Yep, you can make new memories with us. Here we go. Love this music. It's just so like. I can't remember what this one is. You guys will have to tell me. Is this the last Starfighter? I don't. I don't think it is. Either it sounds like it could be, but it's not Apollo 13, is it? No. It's just. Thank you. Like whoever writes this kind of music, it's just like people take it for granted, but it's like, not easy to do. Like, how could you not get excited hearing this music? I don't know, it's just so good. It's the land run from far and away. Oh, really? Like, I don't know that movie. That's why I didn't know it. It's just really good. Bad wind and rain in upstate New York on top of a foot of snow. Tom, ooh, that's a slushy mess. That's what that sounds like. Be safe. Whoever put this mix together did a masterful job because you can't really tell when it changes to the next song. I think this is a different one, but... The title from The Explorers. Okay. Um. I don't, I don't think um, Flight of the Navigator is in this loop. Could be wrong, though. Let's see. We'll see what road we get. Luckily, soaring over California, every seat is good. No, Atlanta flights were canceled. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I, a lot of... Uh, I know some people were on the stream earlier when they were in uh, uh, on the Orlando airport. How many here? One. One. Row one for me. Hi. Sorry. I'll take row one. All good. Row one's awesome. I wish I had the ability to like just hear your ear come down. Uh, Javier, yeah, the park is fairly empty. Yeah, Diane, John Williams was was the king of movie soundtracks. So there are all a lot of other great composers too. Yeah, everything's literally almost a walk on, except Ratatouille is 15 minutes. Oh my god, goodness, we got to get back for that. So Ratatouille is 15 minutes. Test track still down because there's still lightning in the area. Frozen's the longest in the park at 35. And we need to go up to Ratatouille. <clears throat> what do you guys think? Should we just skip out on living with the lamb for now and go to Ratatouille? I don't know. We'll see. We don't get to ride that one that much. Jilly, I'm doing great. 
I do like living with the land a lot, though. This is not even going to be a full ride. I don't think. Yeah, well, I, I think I said is the king, didn't I, Theo? Maybe if I said was, I yeah, is the king. He's not even retired yet. So there you go. Uh, there are still some Christmas decorations here. We can always come back for the land later. Yeah, let's go. Let's bail out. <laughs> Will's old as millennial really wants me to ride the Skyliner. Yeah, use those headphones. Oh, and also, when we, while we're all waiting, definitely make sure that you check out our awesome sponsors. If you want to book your next trip to Walt Disney World, check out MickeyTravels.com. That's MickeyTravels.com. Looks like we're about ready to start. Patrick. MickeyTravels.com and MickeyBlog.com. Go check both of those awesome websites out to book your next trip to Disney. We're getting boring in a few minutes. So First, I'd like to acquaint you with some important safety information. That's not how we're... <laughs> when the doors here fly open, please take my seat and store all carry-on items in the underseat compartments. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and, of course, these little dudes. Oh, I thought I had to Next, fasten your seatbelts, inserting them into the buckle on your right. If smaller aviators don't measure up to the height indicator on the seat, just put the belt through the loop in the center strap before buckling. Oh. No, it's going out. I look down there. I don't even have a head in my head. That's working out. Soon you will be airborne. So if you or your little aviators have a fear of flying or of heights, you might want to wait for your party at the arrival gate. Okay, let's review. That is. Seat, seat belt, carrying on items, seats and strap, fear of heights, keep your hands and arms inside at all times. Yeah. Have a nice one. Was that the Robin Hood theme? It did kind of sound like Robin Hood. Prince of Thieves, yeah. Maybe? I didn't actually do a Shazam in that area. Oh well. Either way, we are going to ride this thing. There's going to be hardly anybody in the third row. That's crazy to me. Yeah, it's easier than jamming it underneath. <laughs> <laughs> we are now conducting our final systems check. Please stow all carry-on items in the under seat compartment. For your safety, remain seated with your seatbelt fastened during your flight and watch your children. Bienvenidos. Favor de colocar sus efectos personales en el compartimiento debajo del asiento. Para su seguridad, permanezcan sentados con el cinturón de seguridad abrochado durante el vuelo y vigilen a los niños. Esperamos que disfruten su vuelo. Hi there, friends. Seatbelt check in the yellow strap to your right and nice big tug for me. Thank you, thank you. Yep, that yellow strap, friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. No in flight meal, Brad, sorry. I think there's a ride at Rhythm. I did that. There's a lot of them. I find X game rides and go to Bush Park. All right, enjoy the ride, guys. 
There's one right there. <laughs> I don't like rollers. Cheetah goes from zero to like 62 in three seconds, I think. 30 or three? Three. Crazy. But honestly, how crazy is that? You hop on a I was going to say, yeah. Eagles nowadays go fast. Yeah, because they're for a ride that's a super fast. They're from the Miami Mirror here. They're trucks and stuff. So it feels like they even show up on the main car. Like, not better, but it feels good. B2. <laughs> Bingo. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> I3. <laughs> now they're checking row B2, of course. Doing a good job as always. Um, Donna, yeah, I don't know. It wasn't raining when I came in. I don't know if it is now or not. We'll see when we go back out. Once they get the flash road checked, we will enjoy the ride. And Mars got G seventy five. Wow, that's up there.
On behalf of our entire flight crew, thanks for soaring with us. <laughs> to unfasten your seatbelt, just push down on the red button on your right. Be sure to gather all your carry-on items from the underseat compartment and exit to your left. Have a great stay here at Epcot. All right, guys. Let me grab my uh, backpack. Almost 3,000 people watching. Welcome in, everybody. I should have sat by myself, I guess. <laughs> oh, well. Still fun ride. All right. Yep. That row one's always fun. I think we could do it again, I guess. <laughs> but I think we want to go do a Ratatouille before we um before it gets busy again rim oh it's a 40 now <laughs> i think that too amanda i always think that too sometimes about people like that i'm like he probably talks to himself <laughs> it's all good though all right yeah Britt, it's always great to see the original soren uh that's a good a good question david i don't know what the capacity is for one room so how's it going, Brett? Jeff says it's been a long time since I've been on it. It's great to see aviation photography in the chat. And guys, hit the like button. If you haven't yet, hit that thumbs up for us. It really helps us out a lot. Hey, cardboard box. Oh yeah, CNC Marine, I hope you guys can get back as well. <laughs> Britt said, thanks for the goodies. He meant hellos. Are you guys sending Britt goodies? That's awesome. How nice of everybody. <laughs> How nice of you. <clears throat> I, of course I wasn't going to say anything to the guys next to me. It's obviously not worth an argument or anything like that. And I didn't. I did kind of hope they kept, I did kind of hope they looked over at the chat, but they never did. <laughs> but it's all good. Thanks, Mike, for subscribing. Wow, 3,200. That must have been a little spike there. Okay, well, let's go outside and see what we're looking at here. And I heard, I saw people saying that Ratatouille's up to 40. Yeah, I don't doubt that. That was probably a fluke that it was at 15. You, you would have had to get up there pretty quick. Well, maybe we could do Living with the Land then since we're over here. Frozen's only at, um, Frozen's only at, at 25, so we might be able to do that here in a minute. I bet Ratatouille will go down later, too. I don't think people are coming out tonight. Let's see what the radar looks like real quick. Uh, we back in it now? Yeah, we're, we're back in it a little bit. It's not bad. You guys want to go do Living the Land? We can do that. Yeah, Mike uh, Skellington, welcome to the Hopper community. Remember, it's free to join. Just have to hit the subscribe button. And we appreciate it if you hit the like because um, we love to get um, we love to uh, have you show YouTube that you enjoy the video. So there you go. All right. Yeah, we'll try it later. Maybe we'll see. I'd like to do right it to you, but let's wait a little bit. I'm going to go listen to the land. I'm going to try something really quick on land. Let's see if we can keep it going. Okay, so let me... I usually work... Honestly, I'm not going to worry about it. It usually works pretty well on this connection. Hello. Oh, I was like, there's entrance. There it is. It's a maze. <laughs> Do you know if they have an alternate way to get up to store and stuff the elevator? Hi. Um, I don't think you need one. You just walk right in. Yeah, just one. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, everything's five minutes right now. Let's see if we can keep this going with just one connection. Yeah, thanks for hitting the like, everybody. 
and we could technically do Soren again if you want to. Maybe we could get our own row and have a real quiet ride. I wouldn't mind that. But we could also do different rides too if you guys want to run around and do different rides. It's up to you. We have our own. We have our own boat section here. So this will be a nice quiet ride. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. All right. Enjoy the ride, everybody. A manera de recordatorio, no tomar foto con flash y luz de video antes de llegar a Nina. Welcome to a voyage of discovery and awareness. The richness, the diversity, the often surprising nature of living with the land. Our journey begins as dramatic and sudden changes are sweeping over the land. The approaching storm may seem violent and destructive to us, but to nature, it's a new beginning in the cycle of life. The American prairie once appeared as desolate as the desert, but over time, rainwater and nutrients gradually penetrated the hard surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil that would one day become home to the American farm.
In Japan, we're learning that by mixing leaves and other living materials into our soil, we can make farmland more fertile without the need for chemicals. Here at Epcot, we're learning to reduce the need for chemical pesticides by breeding and using natural predators, like ladybugs and wasps, to control pests. In the farmlands across America, we're learning that by plowing under vegetation containing natural fertilizers, we can enrich the soil. How will we meet tomorrow's growing needs for food production, yet still respect the needs of the land? Some of the answers are being discovered just ahead. To help us maintain these carefully controlled ecosystems, and for your safety, please remain seated in your boat at all times. are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee and rice, are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant, even the flower petals, are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. One day, many of these lesser-known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. consumption. 
Learning how to increase yields of these stables is an important goal of research around the world. These plants are definitely on their way up. Innovative growing techniques like these increase yields while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. Another innovation at work here is our integrated pest management program. By populating our greenhouses with beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. We're growing these crops using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year in this one small area. Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature, like these fruit and vegetable trees. By growing these ground plants vertically, we can increase yields and better control diseases. These crops taste as good as they look. In fact, we serve more than 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses and restaurants here at the land every year. of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponics system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants, and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less. In our lab, Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. The goal of these efforts is to produce higher yielding and better quality plants. Greenhouses represent just a fraction of the work being done worldwide to produce bountiful harvests for our growing population. Scientists, farmers, and even backyard gardeners are doing their part to improve the quantity and quality of foods that we all rely upon. Together, we can continue to find more ways to increase food production and protect our precious natural environment. Only then, will we truly be living with the land. On behalf of Walt Disney World, we hope you've enjoyed this unique journey through our living laboratories. If you'd like a closer look, then check out the Behind the Scenes walking tour. It's a chance for the whole family to get up close and personal with the plants and growing techniques in our laboratory. Please keep your hands and feet inside the boat and remain seated until the boat comes to a complete stop.
arms will be long. Lower your head and watch your step as you exit. All right, here we go. 3,000 people in the chat. Welcome in, guys. I see Arup, family Mortarana, Jennifer, Andrew, Terry. Welcome in, guys. Yeah, so, um, you know, we could go ride on. Um... Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, we... you too. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we could go ride Soren again, you know, and have a quiet ride, but we also could go do Frozen, which is not very long right now. So I think we'll go do Frozen and maybe Mexico. Oh, we got the ET music going on in the background. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure I hadn't killed the stream on accident. There's a little, if there was a little blip, that was me. <clears throat> I quickly restarted the stream. Okay, and uh, right at two, he's 35. It's gone down five minutes. Yeah, let's go do Mexico and Frozen. Hello, old Mr. Young Dude. Most beautiful I've ever seen the land ride. Thanks, Nancy. And in contrast to the previous ride, it was perfectly silent. <laughs> so that was fun. I love riding all those rides. Ooh, let me turn the brightness up a little bit so we can see a little better. There we go. You can see now. It's so crazy how empty the park is. Yeah, and it wasn't, it wasn't this empty, like, even Monday. So... I wasn't here Monday, I was just looking at wait times and stuff. Hey David, rainy 38 degree northern Kentucky. Yep, that sounds uh, no, no fun. Sounds like no fun. All right, but I do think I should be good to go here. Let's see if I need an umbrella or not. Jennifer puts some twinkle lights on your indoor trees and plants, that's cool. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get our we're gonna get the umbrella out real quick. It's not raining hard, but it's raining hard enough that I want the umbrella. Thirty one hundred people. My goodness. Welcome in, guys. Subscribe if you're new. We were dealing with some rain tonight, but it's Florida, and the worst is over. So let me see something really quick. Yeah, the storm earlier. If you want to see the want to see the worst part of the storm, it was earlier in the stream. You can rewind. Yeah, the tornado uh, was warning earlier and then watch for the rest of the night. But the warning, I believe, has expired. It was only till 6.20, and it was east of us. Okay, here we go. Go, go, gadget, umbrella. It's a solid rain, but it's not horrible. It's not blowing either, so we should be fine. I got my Vessies on. Hashtag not a sponsor. Chief Traveler, hello. Oh, yeah, be careful, Blessed Bee, with tornado warning in North Carolina. Nasty weather has everyone jonesing from some WDW magic. Yep. And we didn't escape it, you know, but it's still fun here, no matter what. I do like the new music. It's fun. It's just very, like, I don't know, ethereal and uh, reverent, I guess, are good words. Oh, somebody's ready to go home. It's no fun when you're a little guy and it's wet. No fun. Time to go home. <laughs> Yes, Country Beer Jamboree is closing at the 27th. Yep, I did hear that. Thank you. Hey, Josh. Hey, Kathleen. Gnarly weather in Georgia. Yeah. There are all Disney World live streams. There's Resort TV one. They're the best. Oh, thank you, Jim. I just do the best I can. <sighs> hey, UNC89. Hey, Jessica. Yeah, let's go do, let's go do uh, Mexico first, and then we'll go do Frozen. Tornado watch in Virginia till tomorrow. Yeah, it's been, like I said, it's been rough all over the country and schools out and things. You know, I I think it's okay to err on the side of caution, especially when you got school buses going over bridges, especially around Tampa and stuff like that. So I think that's good. All right, but thank you for being here. Thank you for hitting the thumbs up for us. It really helps YouTube to know that you are enjoying the video and they can recommend it to other people. Also, um, be sure to check out some of our awesome sponsors. We've got Resort TV One Homes. If you want to move down here to Central Florida, just check out resorttv1homes.com. Again, go to resorttv1homes.com, click on the Contact Us button. And even if you're thinking like next year, a couple years, a couple months, or even like next month, whatever, uh, we will help you out. We've got people that are 
we got people closing on houses in a few days. We got people that just closed. We've got all kinds of people. We got people that are looking to move in a year or two years. So go check out resorttv1homes.com and click on the contact us button. Also subscribe to Resort TV One Homes on YouTube. Errol says, I hear the rain on your umbrella. Yes. And also earlier, uh, if you guys heard the rain that sounded like it was hitting the canopy of the land boat ride, uh, the living with the land boat, that is true. There is a place in the greenhouse that does leak. Um, and so it just hits the canopy of the, of the boat ride. And it's nice that they have that canopy there. I think they knew the greenhouse was going to leak at some point. I don't think it always did. But it's not something that they need to work really hard to fix unless it gets to be catastrophic because, you know, a little water gets in the river and a little water gets on the plants from the rain. It's no big deal, right? So the plants get plenty of water, but if they get a couple extra drops, it won't hurt anything. Um, if it becomes like a, you know, a waterfall, then obviously they need to fix it. But yeah, last shot was a good desktop wallpaper. That's awesome. Hello, Nico from Europe, Malta. Nice. All right. Yeah, it's been a beautiful night and the rain really helps with reflections and stuff. All right. And you can see it's raining, but it's not that hard anymore. We're just kind of dealing with the after, you know, kind of the, the remnants of the storm, if you will. Upstate New York is getting snowed on six inches. Wow. Can we send you some? Well, you could, but it would melt pretty quick, <laughs> even though it's a little chillier down here. It was 79 when I drove in here, and now it's probably like 65, maybe even 60. We're stuck on waiting screen and did not realize it. Oh, wow. Sorry you were stuck. Was that Paul? Sorry about that. <laughs> I keep getting the part of the umbrella. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I just collapsed my umbrella right on my head. It's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I mean, you know, I am kind of goofy sometimes. If we purchase a home through Resort TV One Homes, does it include a Walt Disney World annual pass? I wish, David. I wish. Golden Oak does, but. Uh, that's, uh, it used to. I don't know if it still does or not. Golden Oak used to include like a five-year annual pass. But, and it's some extra privileges, but, um, you know, it's a little, little pricey over there. <laughs> yep. I've got this awesome umbrella that collects all the rain, and then when you, when you put it down, it doesn't get you wet, except for when you collapse it on your head. Hey, Greg. Hello from a very snowy Delaware. Be safe. Golden Oak's a little out of my price range. Mine too. Mine too. <laughs> yeah. But that's the only place that comes with an annual pass. So probably cheaper to buy the pass than to buy a house there in Golden Oak. <laughs> the HOA for Golden Oak is very expensive. Yes. I mean, they have a private bus that takes you all over Walt Disney World though. So, yep. We've gotten the privilege to visit some friends over there. But... Um, you know, we'll never, we'll never live there and that's okay. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm very thankful to have what we have. Um, as I get older, you know, as you're younger, you're like, oh, I wish I had a Ferrari or a Lamborghini or a giant house. And <clears throat> as I get older, I'm just kind of thankful for what I have. It's a lot of people who don't have, <coughs> excuse me, nearly what we do. That's, hi. Hi. Good. How are you? How are you? Staying dry? Yeah. Doing all right. I, I was inside for the worst of it and then, you know, just little sprinkles now. So not too bad. Yeah. Really bad. yeah. How are you guys doing? Disney College program. Okay. Uh, working cool. At World of Disney. And nice. I just, I like to come down here and spend a little time for Disney, I, Disney Files, I guess you would say. Very cool. So you said you just started or you just finished? I am um, just starting. I oh. Have, like my traditions, like special cast member on Saturday. Nice. Yeah. So they give you free park tickets to enjoy for the week. Oh, that's very on, yeah. nice of them. Did you guys want to say hi on the stream? Yeah, I'd love to. Hi. Uh, <laughs> originally awesome. from uh, Pennsylvania. Awesome. I see the Penn State uh, oh, umbrella yeah. there. Yeah. They got the the they big are. big umbrella. <laughs> uh, yeah, we watch you all the time. And we, oh, we share you. it when she's at school and I'm home. We watch you guys all the time. And, uh, really Makes me feel it. like I'm at home still. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, we enjoy what you do. Yeah. You do a great job with the quality. Thank uh, you. Yeah, that no, was really impressive. I've seen a few other live streams and. Uh, not to put anybody down, but what you do is, is really high quality. Well, thank you. I, you know, I, it's, it's kind of my nature. I, if I, there's a problem, I chew on it till I fix it. Yeah. <laughs> That's just kind of the way I work. And so, you know, it's it's uh, maybe sometimes to the detriment of, of uh, you know, me driving my, my family crazy a little bit. But I'm like, I've got to fix it. But yeah, but uh, the thanks to our app developers and everything. So I appreciate you guys saying that. Yeah, yeah. And good luck with your college program. Thank you. 
Traditions is awesome. My dad's been through it. I haven't, and my brother as well. My brother did a college program. Oh, that's awesome. So the one that the one that nobody sees on the stream, but it's okay. I can tell people that he did the college program. So awesome. Well, well good luck with that. Thank you. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Fix it, Felix. That's right. All right. So I fixed it. All right. So hi. How are you? Sunshine and speak with you for a while. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, we just want to uh, stop and say hi. Well, good. I'm we're glad you did. From Arkansas and my two kids. And we ran into Jenna yesterday. Okay. Did you guys want to say hi on the live stream? Sure. That's fine. Yeah. We're soaked. Well, uh, we all are. <laughs> well, actually, I've, I've been in the land, so I've been dry for the most part. Yeah. But it looks like we've, it looks like uh, you guys have managed to dry up the rain, so thanks for that. <laughs> You're welcome. Anytime. <laughs> yeah, we're celebrating their graduation. Oh, and, uh, congratulations. Sanders, he's graduated with a music major. Oh, very cool. So, what what instrument do you play? Uh, primary was trumpet. Trumpet. Okay. Awesome, awesome. So the whole, how many trumpet players does it take to change the light bulb, all that stuff applies, oh, yeah. right? I know all those. All the jokes. <laughs> that's all right. The sax players were in the back confused and weren't listening, so that's that's what I play. Yeah. <laughs> They're with the trombones most of the time. It's like saxophones, like what, huh? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's awesome. So you're going to be a band director or you're yeah, going to be a performer? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yep. That's my, I just uh, am, am in the middle of my 21st year, so it's a lot of fun. But yep, it's a, it's a different world than when I started, but I still love it. So. It's, yeah, it's changed a lot. So, well, congratulations on your graduation. Yeah. And what's your what's your major then? Uh, I'm a speech therapist. Speech therapy, very cool. That is very cool. I actually went to speech therapy, believe it or not, because I was saying some syllables and letters wrong when I was in like second or third grade. No, so no. I was thankful for it that. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> well, good. Awesome. Well, keep up the good work, guys, and good luck getting uh, getting started with your careers. Yeah. Try to stay dry tonight. All right. I, yeah. I think we're almost done here. So fingers crossed. Oh, yeah. Have all a right. good night, guys. Okay, guys. So. But yeah, I was saying that before we met uh, the first the, a family of hoppers that, you know, I'm just, I got to the point where I'm, I'm very thankful for what we have, you know, um, we have a house. It's not a big house. It's big enough for us. <laughs> Would I like to have an extra room to put arcade stuff in and, you know, more old computers? Sure. But, you know, very fortunate. I have some friends who even have the money to buy a house, but can't because it's so difficult to find some places here, which is why Resort TV One Homes works really well, but um, you know, it's, it's, it takes a while sometimes. So that, that is one of the reasons why if you do want to find a house down here, you want to contact somebody pretty early and take your time. But yeah, anyway, very, very um, thankful for what we have. And, and uh, you know, the Golden Oak thing is really cool. We were there for Halloween. We actually got to trick or treat there. And uh, yeah, the decorations are incredible. I just figured they paid extra for that. I don't know. Um, but I do know that, you know, it's a neat place. If you can afford it, it's, a, it's an amazing place. So. All right. I'm having my coffee machines lasted almost four years. That's pretty good, Theo. Hey, I've got a TV. I've got a, I've got a, a 1080p TV um, that uh, has lasted. It's uh, going on uh, 16 years old. It'll be 16 years old in uh, August. So it's over 15 years old. Uh, it's Samsung, and it went bad, and I fixed the... It had bad uh, capacitors. The, the flux capacitor, just kidding. The capacitor and the power supply went bad. I watched a YouTube video. I fixed it, and uh, it's still working. So I'm still pretty proud of that TV that still works. I told my wife after the work I did to fix it, I'm like, we're keeping it till it dies on its own. <laughs> so any park hopping challenge streams coming up? Yeah, Jack. Um, I think we will pretty soon. You know, we never really did a lot of park hopping where we were kind of going like after the 2 p.m. limit, but now you can do it whenever you want. So yeah, maybe this weekend or something, we'll do some park hopping. We can just park hop whenever. Also, a good to go day is coming up for pass holders where you don't have to have a reservation even before two. And most of the time I go to the park after two, so it's like, it doesn't affect me as much. I pretty much just walk into the park. I've, I don't have reservations except for New Year's we had reservations, but that was about it. Can non-Disney employees go through traditions? No, you have to be going into being a cast member. Uh, you can't take the traditions unless you're going to work here. You're an occupational therapist. That's awesome, Wendy. You're helping, uh, helping a lot of people, I'm sure. What food commercial aired for the first time ever 40 years ago? Where's the beef? Oh my goodness, I love it.
A computer bug is called that because a moth got into one of the first computers. Wait, what? Oh, interesting. I just figured, I don't know, I just, it's so, you know, a bug in a program or something is such a common phrase now that, you know, a bug is the same as a mistake, but it's kind of synonymous with a mistake or an error. That is kind of funny. Liam was reading about computer history the other day at school when he was learning a little bit about just, you know, basic coding and stuff, and he learned about Ada Lovelace, which was one of the first um, people who conceptualized a program. Even though there weren't computers at the time, I guess she was the one that kind of conceptualized the idea of giving instructions. Hello, hola. Kind of giving instructions to a machine and having the machine do what you ask it to do. But they didn't have computers for her to try that on, apparently. I'm going to take you So cool. Got our own boat. Enjoy, guys. Sorry about the lag.
Rough uh, because I'm, I'm by myself in the boat, so the the hits, the bumps were a little harder than normal. I think. All right, almost my turn. There we go. Perfect. Uh, David, good to run by you tonight on our way to Guardians. Oh yeah. David, it's good to meet you. I hope you guys enjoyed Guardians. Oof. Oof. Here we go. Well, let's go ride Frozen. I heard that it's a not very long wait. Hi. Are you live streaming? I am. My buddy's watching it. Oh, that's awesome. Do you guys want to like, say... Go find this You want to say hi, for, hi to him? Yeah. Let me get out of the exit area here. Let's say hi to you guys. Evan. What's up? Peace. <laughs> Rain. What are you guys' names? Evan. No, oh, you, oh, you're... Yeah. Sorry, Jeff and Zoe. <laughs> Jeff and Zoe, that's yeah. awesome. She's like, no, your name. <laughs> yeah, Where are you guys from? New York. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Very He's cool. Like, this guy's walking around the park. Go find him. I was like, we're actually having dinner right here. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, this yeah. is a perfect night to be here because of the yeah. storm. Everybody stayed home. Enjoy. Yeah. See you guys. All right, guys. 3,000 people watching. Let's go do Frozen. 15 minutes? We might do it twice. What's uh, Ratatouille right now? Has it gone down any? All right, I'll have to switch connections when we get over there real quick, but it'll be too bad. I do like these decorations here. You know, they probably will be gone here in the next few days, I would think. Um, they should be able to take them out uh, and then, like, tonight or tomorrow. We'll see. Because, honestly, you know, it's indoors, so. And the storm should be over by now. Ben Roethlisberger. No. I do know who that is, though. Oh, it's just sprinkling. Okay. Ooh. Kind of a nasty cold cold sprinkle <laughs> it's cold sprinkles not the good kind not the cupcake kind it smells good out here though the restaurant uh, the smell from the hacienda over here kind of hits you in the face when you come outside and it is very good <laughs> it's a very good smell hey and especially if you like mexican food frozen remy 35 thank you Amara, and thank you moppers you're all doing a great job as always keeping the chat family friendly all right guys what other sponsors do we have to talk about oh um, we have um, David's DVC Rentals. That's a dvcrequest.com slash TV. If you want to rent a DVC room for a fraction of the cost, just go to David's DVC Rentals at dvcrequest.com slash TV. That's dvcrequest.com slash TV. Tell them Resort TV once sent you. It is windy. Yep, David's DVC Rentals, dvcrequest.com slash TV. You can see the giant 
conglomeration of barges over here, but they don't stay out all day. If you come in the morning, the lagoon is pretty clear. There's only like a few short pylons out there to serve as anchors for the barges. So way better than all the tacos and things that were out there before, even though I did love Harmonious. We also have magicbandreaders.com. That's magicbandreaders.com. If you want to uh, find and use a magic band reader, it's very similar to what they use here at the parks. Just go to magicbandreaders.com and you can use code RESORT15 for 15% off. Or you can go to, if you want a wait time sign that tells you what the wait times are in the parks all the time on your desk. They're super cool. Just go to magicbandreaders.com slash wait. Magicbandreaders.com slash wait. All right. And use code RESORT15 for 15% off. Thanks for bearing with us through the sponsors. They help us out a lot. Do I make my own beer? No, I don't know how to do that. But uh, I do enjoy beer occasionally, but I don't make my own for sure. Excuse me. Excuse me, guys. Uh, okay, just joined in time for my favorite ride, the Three Caballeros. Thanks for streaming on a stormy night, for sure. The cast member goes, you can put your thing over by the waterfall, but I'm not going to move it. Yeah, it's just one of those nights. Okay, so let me switch the connections here real quick, guys. It'll just be a real quick little blip. I'll take my take my umbrella down. Hi. This isn't too bad. This won't take very long at all. We'll see how long it is though. I don't know why. The Wi Fi is not working. That's weird. Let's see if I can get it on my other phone. Well, somebody was asking the difference between a Rhapsody and a Symphony. It's a good question. Let me get the, hold on, let me get the Wi Fi on for a second. Be right back. And we're back. Okay. So. Uh, Corinne, uh, Disney has a, an ASCAP license, which gives them the right to play basically any kind of music that they want um, with that license. So, yeah. Hi, how are you? Good. Yes. Heather. Yeah. Was, it's not that bad, is it? It's, um... It's uh, not bad lines either, so that's what's good. This is. <laughs> Ratatouille was 15 earlier, but it went up. This looks like it might be more than 15, but we'll see. We shall see. <laughs> oh, you're fine. Actually, I've stayed pretty dry tonight, considering. Time to go. That's it. That's what you do. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, also, what was I going to say? Oh, the difference between a Rhapsody and a Symphony. So the Rhapsody is a single movement work. It's usually based on an idea and goes through several different like emotional you know, areas and, and uh, different things. But it might be variations on a theme and stuff like that. But it's one movement. And it's um, it kind of has like different sections, but not movements. And it's kind of free-flowing. So, yeah. Lots of different moods, lots of different styles. And then um, the Rhapsody in Blue is a great example uh, by George Gershwin. And then a symphony is a multi-movement work for orchestra. And it is... Um, and Rhapsody can be... doesn't have to be for an orchestra. That's the other thing. A lot of times it is. But symphony, multi-movement work. Um, and um, generally doesn't have a central theme or idea. Sometimes they do, but generally it's just like a symphony. 
sometimes it has a certain key but yeah there you go like bohemian rhapsody that's right it goes through several different moods but one um technically is a rhapsody usually rhapsodies not words but yep there you go so that's a, in a nutshell off the top of my head definition I don't know, we got musicians in here. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I think I got pretty close just off the top of my head. Now, the biggest difference is symphony has multiple movements and usually doesn't have a central idea. The Jenna her oats instead of oars, yeah. It's true. And she got stuck on, we got stuck on Frozen and Jenna I need my oats. Rhapsody Moon makes me think of NYC in the fall. That's cool. Maybe it was fall when you first heard it. This is going pretty fast. Let's see what the other wait times look like. Gratitude is still 20 or still 35. This one is still 15. Test track is still down. It's probably too wet to run it, maybe. I don't know. Napster, I do remember that, yes. Oh, let's see what time. Let's see how much time we have left. Remy's wait is 28 minutes. Okay, hey, does our dream? How are you? Hit the like, everybody. Subscribe if you're new. I gotta give YouTube a huge shout out. I was just checking my email to make sure everything was good, and email, YouTube finally emailed me and said, um, "said Hey, by the way, we, we just want to make sure all is good. We restored your, um, we restored your, um, your stream from the other night. Thank you so much for reaching out. So it really was YouTube that restored the uh, New Year's Eve stream. Huge shout out to them. Being somebody who uses YouTube so much, I, I." struggle to comprehend the kind of power that they have with that you know just like just click and the stream is restored either way super excited that that new year's thing is back we had so much fun uh no dave they they took out the movie part of the movie theater is um now part of the ride i believe the movie theater part is where you see olaf and Anna and elsa oh tigger gal you're gonna love it hey robert that's right, if you're new, subscribe. We're hoping to hit 200K this year sometime. Um, we're right now at 186, 842. 186, 842. So getting close to 187. It was the best stream. Go watch it. So much fun. Thanks. I was just, I don't know, I'm just really, really thankful to YouTube for doing that. Please say hi to my mom. She's watching right now. She's giving me 98. Hello to Sunny South's mom. Sorry. Didn't say what if you say what her name is, I'll say hi to her by name. How do we get music theory? Somebody asked about um, the difference between a rhapsody and a symphony, and I've been teaching the last couple days, so my brain was in that space. So I answered the question. <laughs> again, again, make sure you're subscribed to uh, my new channel, Retro TV One Tech. Got lots of videos on the works. I think I literally have like three or four filmed videos that I just need to edit. And um, then also uh, subscribe to Jenna's Adventures of Jen and Dale. Blessed Tuesday, Kimberly. My mom's name is Helene. Hello, Helene. So, um, happy, let's see, wait, are you almost 98? That's amazing. Happy almost 98th birthday. DBC Andy's here. Hope to see Andy and Sharon later in the week. They're here in town. They've been on the stream with Jenna a couple times, I think. Music theory is always relevant. It is true. That is true. That was more of um, music, music uh, history, literature. I don't know what you want to call it. I guess you could call it theory. That was my birthday party stream. The party was so fun. I introduced people to your channel. That's awesome, Wendy. Ninety-eight boy. If I last that long, 
I don't know. I think people might be uh, might be ready for me to go at that point. So, <laughs> just kidding. Shout out to Denise and Landon. Hello, Denise and Landon. Hello, Nanny Pooh Bear. Close. There's not that many lightning lanes coming through, so I think we'll be moving pretty quick. So grateful for the shout out, for sure, Sonny. Oh my goodness. Huge respect. Uh, some of the things that she must have seen and been a part of, just absolutely incredible. I bet she tells some amazing stories. It's great to meet you for the first time. Yes, Sam, for sure. I'll do a monologue on Species Counterpart if anybody's trying to get to sleep. Kevin, oh my goodness. It's funny because I haven't really gone into that that much, uh, but I know what you're talking about. And um, it's funny, when I studied it, we didn't call it that completely. It was weird. It was different. But uh, I was, one of my colleagues is going through her master's and she was studying that too. And yes, you're right. It does get pretty dry. Anybody ever do that? Listen to like a, a lecture that's maybe a little bit dry to fall asleep? Oh, that's awesome, Sonny, for sure. Anytime. Let's see if Oaken's gonna come say hi here. David said music theory is not my favorite. Oh. Happy Summer Snow Day from me to you. Uh, let's see. Zora TV One is one of the channels that still have 2,700 people watching and still takes time to chat, talk to his live stream chatters. Oh, Hannah, yeah, absolutely. That's what it's all about. I like learning about music as a professor. Yeah, sometimes it is. Yeah, David. Um, sometimes I fall asleep in meetings. See if it lags at all, but as always, we don't we don't talk on the rides, so it'll be good. Like on Sorum, when they had a whole conversation, we will not be doing that. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to Norway and to Frozen Ever After. Hi, hi, all the summons. I'll come and come look at Hotel Frozen Ever After. In order to keep your wait time as short as possible, it was frustrating, though. I wouldn't mind riding that one again. Oh yeah, Magic is not very busy either, you're right. <laughs> David, that's too funny. I got caught in a meeting the other day when people talk about falling asleep in meetings and conference calls. I got caught in a meeting the other day and one of my teachers that I work with, she's like, you were nodding off. I was like, I was not. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, I today I was like... I told her, I said, I just lost my balance. <laughs> Sitting down. What were you going to say? Yeah, I was, we were doing testing to finish school and, uh, uh, yeah, I was, I was like, I am so tired. And some of the poor kids, I mean, it was first grade, so after testing, they were just like, I don't know, do you want to put you in an edit? Yes. So, yeah, I was like, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough, that's a tough thing for sure. Uh, let's... You slept for like an hour straight. I was like, you were really tired. You sure were. <laughs> I wish I had time to do that. Oh, Chief Traveler, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> maybe.
I've just trained myself not to sleep as much. Not a good thing always. One? Oh, we can. Yeah, sure. Yeah. That's the fun part. All right, guys. If it lags, you know what to do. Just keep refreshing. We'll see you at the end.
to the right. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Hey guys. I feel like there's something wrong. Oh. Help. Okay. I think that's somebody else's water. That's not mine. Mine's in my bag. Oh well. Alright. I feel like I got out of the lag pretty quick, didn't I? Awesome. I just picked up somebody else's water. That's cool. <laughs> Remy's to 30, soaring to 15. Okay, we'll see. I have the Nestle water just like this, so it's all good. Mine's still in my bag. I tried. Oh, and it's laggy. There we go. This hallway is very laggy. It's a laggalicious hallway. Oh well. Heather, you didn't happen to drop a water, did you? Um, oh no. Okay, it was in the row, so I grabbed it. I thought it was mine, but okay, I've got mine here, so I'm just going to throw it away then. Yeah. <laughs> Unopened, but best for safety. By the way, good job, good job hitting the high note on "Let It Go." That was amazing. That was amazing. <laughs> yes. He nailed it. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if they have this. This is a jacket I got. Oh, they have less of them even now. I bought this jacket earlier, but I bought a large and I need an extra large because apparently they run a size small because Norwegian sizes are different than U.S. sizes. So, oh well. It's smaller, yeah. That's good for them, bad for us. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I'm going to find a place to throw this away and here we go. Ha. <laughs> ah. And I need my umbrella. Well, maybe. Yeah. Same. Say what? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go. I don't know. I think I may go do Soren again. We'll see. Because I want, I, I, yeah, and I really like that ride, and I had a very, we had very chatty Charlies next to me, so the whole time, the last time, so maybe I'll go this, go again. That's all right. It happens. They were excited for the ride, but it was just like one of those things. I was like, I'll just do it again. Right? <laughs> so. Yeah, that's, I was thinking about that too. Um, but it's good to see you. Yeah, nice to see you, and if I see you at Soren, then yay. I promise I'm not coming. <laughs> no, you're not. It's okay. all good. All good. I'm, I'm lucky that I get to. What's that? Next time. Yeah, exactly. I always want to give people the opportunity to like traveling and maybe someone only Oh yeah. No, it's all good. Did you want to say hi on the stream real quick again? Sure, of course. So this is Heather again. She wrote the people mover with me a few months ago. <laughs> so but yes, and also and also now frozen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we were both single riders and they were like, Can you ride together? It's like, yeah, we know each other anyway, it's fine. <laughs> so awesome. Yeah. No, so yeah, we're we're getting everybody's mind off of it. That's yeah, the goal. That's right. I, I hear uh, happily ever after wrapping up over here. Oh, for sure, for sure. <laughs> it is kind of funny when that happens. Ooh. Yeah, I'll have to check the radar once I get where I'm going here and see if it see if it is going to lighten up for uh, luminous or not. Oh, it's Florida. Yeah, you never know what it's going to do. If you don't like the weather, wait 15 minutes or even five minutes. <laughs> so. I was born in Oregon. Hello, some choice Chicago. No, it's, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Very funny.
Yeah, I think they'll probably have them down in the next couple of days because uh, Festival of the Arts. It would look weird with Festival of the Arts starting and the decorations still up. So, but we'll see. Oh, for sure. Oh, it's getting more rainy at the moment. Let's. I'm gonna check the radar here. My phone doesn't seem to want to do that. There we go. Oh yeah, we're just in a little, little rain bamble. I think. Let's see what Ratatouille says. I think we make new Soren again because I just really enjoy that ride. So, and it's gonna be gone soon. And I bet nobody in the chat would. Oh, what, Ratatouille. Sorry, Ratatouille is now 20. Ugh, can't decide. They must have must have delayed. Happily Ever After must have been delayed. Oof. I may just do Soren because it's closer. <laughs> uh, I heard, I don't know, did you guys hear Hoppers? I think it's mid-February or something. So it doesn't have too much longer yet. Yeah. Nanny Pooh Bear, Florida, it sounds like. I don't know if the tornado was a confirmed, but it was supposedly east of here, close to the SeaWorld area. I don't know, if, again, I don't know if that was confirmed, but I know that the uh, weather service did issue a tornado warning. So. I don't know, I haven't heard reports from the news if anybody actually spotted it, but the radar indicated a possible tornado. Listen to me sound like a meteorologist. I had to be, I was a band director. <laughs> I think there was a date given somewhere though, uh, in Mar I'm not sure, maybe maybe I was making it up. It'll be gone by the time we, we arrive. Yeah, David, I know, I'll have to film it several times for you guys. Whew. I grew up. That's the what? Yeah, Disneyland. That's the park. Yeah, so I'm so California, but to me that's like the original. That's the one. Oh, for sure. So I'm so happy they brought it back. It's my favorite too. I wish they they would. I wish they would just bring it back different parts of the year for sure. Anybody have Chicago? We got Chicago people here. Hello, Anne Marie. Uh, Ticker Tail John, hello. And yeah, what's replacing Soren over California is just Soren around the world that has been there since uh, 2016. I believe I came here, or 20, I don't know, 2015, 2016. I came here right after Liam was born. Um, it's my first time back at the parks, you know, after being out a month or two when he was born. And Steph's like, you, you know, actually, she was so nice. She's like, you've earned it. You've, you've helped out so much because she wasn't feeling good. So I literally did everything for probably the first month or two. And she started feeling better, and she had a fr her cousin visit, and she's like, my cousin's here, why don't you go to Disney, you've earned it, just go enjoy, and I did. And I came over here, ah, just for a few hours, but I rode a Frozen for the first time, and I rode Soaring Around the World for the first time, I believe. All right. Yeah, oh, that's, that's good. So glad I found your video, as Donna says. <laughs> Reflections of Spaceship Earth, guys. Look at that. Panama City got hit really hard. Oh, sorry to hear that, WB. Yeah, we were, we were lucky. I don't know if there's any damage from the winds. There definitely wasn't, at least here in Epcot, that I can see. But I don't know if there was any elsewhere in the area. The straight the wind damage is very localized. A lot of times so you never know it could be like fine and then down the street it could be a major problem I think we can go left around this but there's not very much room they put up new walls guys I don't know why oh no you can't go this way it's blocked okay we're going we're going right I thought there was I thought there was room but there isn't okay. I've heard yeah Oh, nice. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, Jillian. I got my Vessi uh, shoes on, so they're like waterproof. Hey, Eli. Let's see. Oh, Donna. Yep, I'm so glad you found this. Oh, sorry, maybe I already said that. I'm just looking through. I think I, I met, I missed a uh, chat or two here. I don't know. Did they announce the Soarin' Over California is ending? I thought it was ending in February. It's supposed to be here for the 100th, but hey, if it stays longer, I'm a happy camper. 
new Ratatouille event. Walk around the walls with Remy ears on and try and find your cheese. Oh my goodness, David, that's too funny. <clears throat> so, I don't know what they're putting there. I keep kind of hoping that they're putting a fountain in there, but I don't think that's probably true. Look at that. That's a cool shot. Well, it, the wind, the rain is not bad as it's just not windy right now. So you, you can, the umbrella actually does keep me dry at this point. So wall cut is multiplying. I know goofy magic, it's spreading. It's spreading, stop it, it must be stopped. <laughs> <It's> multiplying. <laughs> The walls are spreading. They got mad that we took too many out at the same time. We must stop them. It is true. It's so funny. This is a nice, nice. I love walking through this new area. It's so peaceful. It's like a, like a park. She said, "Out of my stepson Tyler. He loves watching your video. Yeah, sure, sure. Hello, picking uh, peaches. I'm doing great. You can see the Epcot walls from Space 220. That is true. Yeah, you can see the Great Wall of China and the Epcot walls. Hey, Jamie Davis, 4 a.m., oh my goodness, be careful, or I hope it was okay. Uh, I do like all the light reflections, yes. Uh, Victor Heathers just joined me for a few minutes here after uh, we met up on Frozen. They're asking who was with me. The Seas walkway has closed permanently since the big crater in the middle is no more. Oh, interesting. Yeah, you can see a lot of it pretty well. The walls are a slow motion Tron. <laughs> our, our boat uh, captain the other day mentioned that it took, um, it took them six months to excavate the uh, Seven Seas Lagoon. And then Jenna goes, yeah, and it took them five years to build Tron. I was like, well, that's true though. So they excavated an entire lake in six months, <laughs> but it took them that long to build Tron. This is too funny. Maybe there was some issues in that area that they needed to fix. Who knows? Who knows? Could it be? That's awesome that you guys got to do that. So we're gonna be what was that? That's awesome you guys got to do that. that. We got to do what? The fireworks. Oh, the cruise. Yeah, that was really cool. Uh, David, the focus of Communicore Hall, which is right here, uh, is actually going to be the performance venue for smaller performances that don't require the America Gardens Theater, uh, probably like smaller acts and things. And then also, uh, it's going to be a character meeting area, uh, can be meeting and event space, special events like festival center, um, special occasion shops, you know, like for, was that? Air conditioning breaks. Yes, air, <laughs> AC breaks. Yeah, so it's just going to be a kind of an all-purpose space. Um, I did. We did get some concept art for it at one of the media events, so I need to... I, I believe I put it up a long time ago, but I need to repost it at some point. And we do have uh, a media event on Friday where we, we preview the Festival of the Arts, so that'll be fun. Yes, they spread the cost of building things over multiple years. It looks better on the budget. That is why. It's not like it's not possible to build these things uh, faster. They just spread it over the multiple years. Because let's face it, the parks were only closed for four months during COVID. So that really didn't attribute to that much of a delay on Tron. Um, and I think it was only a couple months where there were construction rec restrictions. So, you know, they could have they could have gotten it done faster, but it's a nice addition. This area took a long time too, because it just sat there for a long time. A lake, a big hole with water, pretty easy to build versus a high-tech computer controlled ride with steel. That's true, Brad, that is true. Although I believe Universal built like three coasters in the time that they built Tron. Um, just saying, but yeah, anyway. I love Tron, don't get me wrong. It, did, it just took a long time to build. Like Universal started and finished Velocicoaster well before Tron. Like they started it after and they finished it before. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. It's, it's really cool. It's, it's enjoyable. Now, another thing in, in the favor of Disney, Velocicoaster doesn't have near the theming uh, that, that Tron does. So, either way. What's that? Yes, they do. It's really good.
All right, I am going to use the restroom. Yeah. So, you to... so you want to hold it? Yeah. Okay. Probably, yeah, you can just stand over by the the balloons okay. there if I you want. I might not be brave enough to check because I don't want to touch anything. Well, but no, you're good. Right. Yeah. Okay. You're good. Just point at something yeah. and it'll be fine. It'll keep going on its own. <laughs> I'll be back. I, I, isn't it crazy? Okay, cool. uh, yeah. Where I are the people? I showed them the press pass. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, cool. Where was it? Oh, uh, uh, cool. Nice. Yeah. That's so cool. But guys, literally, there's nobody. There's nobody here. Yeah. They closed the restaurant. They closed the seating. I don't know. Like, I gotta get. I gotta get a night shot here of this place empty almost. Oh, for sure. There's always somebody, but... Yeah. All right. Well, heading on the ride. Um, all right. Oh, I'll just go down the stairs. Yeah. It's closer. <laughs> uh, hit the like, everybody. We're almost to two, uh, 1,800 likes. We get to 2,000 tonight. Remy is now 10 minutes. Wow. Okay, so... I wonder if we can make it to Ratatouille after this. Probably not. Oh, well. That's all right. We, we did it last time it rained. <laughs> all it has to do is just rain. Remy is not going away. Um, I really, really want to see this one and just enjoy it with no no people. Or no uh, no talking, sorry. <laughs> Hello. Let me see if I got myself set up right here. Okay, good. All right. This should be mostly a walk-on. We'll see. I don't think we're going to make it to anything. They say, great job, Heather. All right, good job. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there you go. This ride is really great. It usually takes a little while to do it. So, that's all right. 
So we'll probably just go watch Luminous after this, but I think we'll have our pick of spots. <laughs> And I, I think they're going to do the full show. It's not. It, they might not do some of the, the perimeter stuff if the wind's too high, but I think they at least will do pyro. Hopefully the rain is out of here by then. It's ending in 41 minutes. Okay, I guess not. Well, at least it's not that bad. Yeah, there's another line coming through, so... Oh, well. This storm had multiple lines. There's like at least three lines in the storm. That's crazy. <laughs> It'll be really cool tomorrow morning. What's that? Like every state besides North Dakota is having a storm. That's crazy. Yeah, North, that's quite so. North Dakota got it, huh? <laughs> he said test track is open. That's crazy. We're not doing that one, but. Bum, bum. That's awesome, Kathleen. Is it Father of the Bride, David? I wasn't sure. Such great music in this queue. Let's see where they want us to go. Hello. We are just cruising. Trade you whether it's a blizzard here. Oh yeah, no, the rain is much easier to deal with, for sure, it just dries. I will take our weather. Hello. We're just cruising. Hello, oh, we're, we're just in time for Patrick to tell us all about what's going on. Safety information. All right, enjoy, guys. Two. No. Next, fasten your seat belts, inserting them into the buckle on your right. If smaller aviators don't measure up to the height indicator on the seat, just put the belt through the loop in the center strap before buckling. That's worked well. Soon you will be airborne. So if you or your little aviators have a fear of flying or of heights, you might want to wait for your party at the arrival gate. Okay, let's review. That is seat, seat belt, carry on item, safety strap, fear of heights, keep your hands and arms inside at all times, anything else. Yeah, have a nice flight. Alright friends, we're going to start with row two. We might sit on the end, we'll see. There, I'm gonna put, put my backpack down here. Let's see, there we go. Okay. And Yeah, we can just do this. Perfect. There we go, everybody's got all the room they want. <laughs> I love it. We're riding this again because I rode next to the three chattiest guys in the whole the whole kingdom. So I'm hoping. Oh, no, I won't either. <laughs> exactly, it's the best. Oh yes, yeah, it is. That's the best part. That's the best part. So we all have our own. We all have our, have our own little little space here, guys. Yep. We got every other seat going on. No, no flip flops, that's true. Yeah. Oh no. Oh gee. So it's like, well, We are now conducting our fire uh -huh. systems check. Please go all carry on items in the under seat compartment. For your safety, remain seated with your seatbelt fastened during your flight and watch your children. Bienvenidos. Favor de colocar sus efectos personales en el compartimiento debajo del asiento. 
Para su seguridad, permanezcan sentados con el cinturón de seguridad abrochado durante el vuelo y vigilen a los niños. Esperamos que disfruten su vuelo. to be buckled for the thing to go. Sure. No? You get it? Or maybe you can get it. Okay, there we go. It couldn't go, wouldn't go in. And there we go. I think we're all buckled over here now. <laughs>
fasten your seatbelt, just push down on the red button on your right. Be sure to gather all your carry-on items from the underseat compartment. And all right, that was great, guys. Have a great stay here in that coffee. Okay. So you guys enjoyed that? What's that? Happiness is not yes. So such a good ride. You guys ready for Luminous? <laughs> I might watch it from the front. I've never seen it from the front. I bet. I bet there's a spot. We'll see if they actually have fireworks. <laughs> you guys were saying that there's a storm coming back through, so we'll see what happens there. Okay, I've still got my stuff. Right at these ten minutes. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not going to make it up there, guys. In time, we'll do it next time. But thank you so much. I wish we could. I wish we could. Yeah, I don't know. I was just feeling another soaring again. I know we did it once already, but it was still awesome. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. We're going to do Ratatouille another time. I know it's usually busy, but judging by the number of people on the stream, you guys enjoyed it too. So, Yeah, so if there aren't fireworks, it'll be the neat, the neat little uh, just the water only show where there's no pyro. We'll see. It might be a combo where they do some of the pyro, but not all of it. You guys are expecting bean mode? Yeah, I guess if the wind's high, they will. My first time seeing it. That's awesome, Nanny Pooh Bear. Yeah, like, how amazing is that? Soaring over California, so good. You can see the you know, footage is not as high res as, as, the, um, as the other, but soaring around the world, but. HEA was five minutes late. Interesting, yeah, I noticed this. It ended late, too. So, either way. These, these, all the cast members just standing there with nothing to do. <laughs> these are fun nights for them, though. They get to hang out with their friends and just really have a good time and not have to, not have to stress as much about all the crowds. It is rare on, I will say it's rare on uh, Soren for them to have to buckle seatbelts like they did because most of the time it's full. Make it permanent, I agree. Or at least, like I said before, have it at least, kind of like they do Mission Space, have it in one of the theaters. You know, I think that'd be the way to go. Have it in one of the theaters. So like, you know, you can wait. I know they don't have space in the queue for that, but you can wait separately for certain ones, but that probably would cause a big, a big logistical nightmare. So I'm sure it's not a good idea, but I would love it. It's a pipe dream, if you will. I wish they went back to the song at the beginning at the end because they do for other shows. That's true. I get that. So guys, uh, I will say some of the music we heard tonight was so good. Um, you know, we've got the Grand Fiesta Tour, um, and it's so, so catchy. That was so awesome. Uh, and you have, like, it's a small Mexico kind of th kind of vibes. And then you've got, of course, Frozen, Let It Go, so iconic. One of the most well-known songs of all time, basically. Oh, my goodness. And then Soren, of course. It is so nice when it's quieter at the parks, and you can hear so much more than when Oh, for sure. Everything's nice and nice and calm. Guys, hit the like button. We're almost to 2,000. Hit that thumbs up. We're going to go watch something. We're going to go watch a show. I don't know if it's fireworks. I don't know if it's not fireworks. I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see. Harmonious on Grand Fiesta, or Harmonious on Grand Fiesta make me happy. Yes, for sure. Okay. It's not really raining that hard, but I'm going to go ahead and do the umbrella. Rich, you're very welcome. It's my pleasure to do this for you guys. It really hasn't been that bad of a night. I'm, I'm, you know, just slightly wet, so it will be something. That's right, Mara. Well, at the very least, they'll do, um, at the very least, they'll do a uh, water-only version of it, and it won't be like rainy and, and terrible like it was the last time we saw it. So it might be an even clearer view of the show. We shall see. Ooh, let me turn off uh, this other connection here to get save a little battery power. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, there we go. All good. I'll probably plug in anyway. I don't want to be so close there. <clears throat> I remember liking B mode. Me too, David. Concourse A and B for the world and Concourse C for California. Iggy, that's a wonderful idea. <laughs> Again, the biggest obstacle would be finding queues for that because Mission Space kind of had queuing built in for that already, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, so just out of curiosity, does anyone know what time Enchantment would be on Thursday? Husband and I on call Enchantment our fireworks because we saw them on our honeymoon. Oh yeah, Kelly. 
we are going to see Enchantment. I don't know what time it is. I'll have to look it up. Maybe midnight? It might be 11. It's going to be late, so you guys can watch on the replay if you can't stay up. Um, but we are going to do double fireworks that night. Probably start the stream around 7 or so. Uh, about 7 or 7.30. We'll see. And then uh, we will definitely... Definitely watch Happily Ever After at 8, and then we'll watch uh, Enchantment later on that night. So that's going to be cool on Thursday. We don't normally go live on Thursday, but this time we are. And then we'll go um, to 11. Okay, cool. Enchantment's at 11. We'll do Enchantment. We'll get to ride rides until 1 a.m. So it's probably going to be chilly, but we'll make it happen. Oh, thanks, Plymouth Rock. I try to be a wealth of knowledge, but I get it wrong sometimes. Did you guys see I had to change my stream? title the other day because actually the stream that I said was the 12th day of Christmas actually wasn't <laughs> and somebody called me out on it and they were totally right I was glad that they did because I'm sure there were a lot of people that were too nice to say anything so thank you to the guy that let me know he, he was nice about it for sure and he, he was right I should have counted better I don't know why I just in my brain I thought Epiphany January 6th was the same as the 12th day of Christmas but it isn't the 12th day of Christmas if you count Christmas 25th as day one is January 5th so I did not know that. <laughs> now I know. I saw that. Still felt like another day of Christmas. Yeah, for sure, Sean. <laughs> we could have called it the 13th day of Christmas. That just sounds unlucky somehow. So maybe we, maybe we don't want that. <laughs> so yeah, so I changed it to just wrapping up Christmas. Oh, we all make mistakes. It's all good. I just get in a hurry and don't check stuff sometimes. That's my biggest problem. <laughs> That's right. Tear those walls down. <laughs> I 100% thought that the 6th was the 12th day of Christmas. I don't, I don't know why I didn't actually count it. Like, it wasn't like it would have been that hard for me to just count to 12, but I just didn't. <laughs> it's all good. Sorry, Javier, the storm wasn't that bad, so that's good. You know what? We did also... I don't know how far behind on the countdown we are, but we did miss a lot of the, a lot of the crazy copyrighted pre-show music, so that's cool. All right. So see where we can find a spot. And we're gonna watch Luminous or whatever version of it they show here in a few minutes. Oh, here we go. Tonight, we invite you to join us for Luminous, the symphony of us. Due to lower light levels during the show, we ask that you please watch your step and be sure to take small children by the hand. Tonight's performance of Luminous, the symphony of us, will begin in just a few minutes. I'm not going to talk anymore. Enjoy the show. Although I do really like this drum intro. So it just hypes you up.
benvenuti!
we are never truly alone. Sing out so others can hear you. The music we make echoes back at us in chorus. In concert. In symphony.
from all of us here at Epcot. We wish you a wonderful evening and a safe journey. Thank you and good night. Oh. Well, that was an adventure. It's not raining at all now, but that was a downpour in the middle of that, but it was so good. It's so good. But... <laughs> the music's so good, it totally carries it. Ugh. So good. Oh yeah. I've seen the regular World of Color and the Holiday one. They're both amazing. Oh my goodness, guys. All right, we'll listen to a, we'll listen to a couple songs, but other than that, I'm probably going to head out here in a minute. Uh, I do like this song. This is the remix of the last song in the show, which is cool. It's more laid back. Yeah, it was a full-on downpour. I had to get the umbrella out. Luckily, it was so sparsely crowded. Nobody was really, like, right behind me, so that was good. <laughs> like, you were a little bit behind me, and I wasn't blocking you, was I? Okay, good. Oh. Yeah, it was really spaced out. Oh, wow, Tigger Tail John. That sounds cold. And these, these custom, these original songs are so good. You can hear the music better without fireworks. for the song and then we're gonna go probably guys because I gotta get up tomorrow and you don't have to wait with me if you need to get up too so <laughs> you too yeah for sure yeah have a good day tomorrow bye alright guys enjoy the song
Guys, we're gonna get going. I do have to get up tomorrow. I do like the imagination song, but I've got to get going. Next time. Uh, how beautiful. What a great night. We got a little wet, but it wasn't that bad. I just love all those songs, and the way that it flows together in the show is so, so good. This is a great version of Remember Me, too. I don't know, man. And I have to be honest, it hits kind of hard today the middle section when you lose somebody because this was our uh, today is our dog uh, uh, Cole Porter or Porty's birthday uh, he passed away last November but he would have been 17 today so it came up on Facebook of course but we would have remembered anyway January 9th I don't know so anyway well, we have a new dog now and he's awesome but we still miss still miss Porty and uh, he was just such a good dog Kind of like this version of the song too. Sorry, random. Like the chord progression is just slightly different. I like it. Mm -hmm. Remember Me is a great song anyway, but that's this is a really just a neat version. They've done really ni nice rearrangements. Somebody was saying they re recorded har um, well harmonious too, but luminous around the world at different places, different choirs, different ensembles. It's just so good. Thanks, guys. Yeah, it's tough. Like I said, I was the one that found him. And it just, you know, it's, it's unfortunately something I'll never forget. And, uh, you know, I guess, I guess I'm glad I was the one that found him because I just felt like I could be there for him. But, you know, he didn't know I was there, I guess. But I don't know. So I'm just rambling. But it was, it was just hard. It was hard. So. But we move on and you know, hopefully I'll see him again someday. Yeah, Luminous is just really, really good. So over here, um, you can't really see it, but Festival of the Arts um, is getting prepared over here at the Odyssey. Thanks, Jessica. Yeah, it's hard for sure. He knew, yeah. Here's the Imagination song. This one is on Apple Music. Imagination. If you want to hear the song without any talking, I, I did it last last Tuesday, if you want to see it. It can be a dream come true. Aw, thanks guys. Thanks, Barb. Yeah. I like to believe he's watching over us. I like to believe he can see us, but you know, who knows, but it's a nice thought for sure. So, and I hope and wish and pray for that. But here's Wish, speaking of Wish. <laughs> Mary Poppins over here, you can play amongst the penguins. Yeah, Manoa J, it's hard, but we move on. It's just certain times like this that are hard, but not, you know, it does get easier. It's just that spark in me and you. Beautiful night. Oh, Wendy, I hope you get better. Yeah, I, you know, it's the whole thing that doctors say, you know, plenty of, drink plenty of fluid, lots of rest, lots of vitamin C, all the things. Porty has already told Tank all about his new family and how he's going to be well taken care of. Yep, I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did. <laughs> yeah, I've caught after a rainy night is great. And it did, it did finally stop raining about part way, you know, I don't know, three quarters of the way through the show. I just, I love the way the music goes together. Like to put it, to put the, um, the Frozen song in there, the, uh, Into the Unknown basically, um, in there, in that spot, it's really, really perfect. Um, just cause you've got the two voices echoing each other there. Is it Into the Unknown? Is that the song from Frozen 2? I think it is. Or maybe it's like two different parts. I don't know. My brain's not working right now. But then the way it leads into um, At Last I See the Light, like, 
it's very well done. Like I know it's IP and stuff, but if you really take time to think about it, it was. I I think the show that Luminous was made with a lot of a lot of love. There was a lot of love and care from the Imagineers put into it. And I'm not saying there wasn't for some of the other shows, but I think there was a special amount of love and care. And I hope that they didn't take the criticism too hard at the beginning, as people were just kind of trying to figure it out. Thanks, guys. Uh, Jack Sparrow wants uh, vinyl car decals. Uh, we could look into that. I don't really know much about how I would do that, but I'm sure there's a will. Where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Tank is doing good. He's just in that puppy biting phase, so we're having to uh, we're having to really watch him so he doesn't bite Liam or, or any of us really. But his teeth are bothering him, so he's we've really been having to work with him on on you know you got okay. Don't chew this. Don't chew the people. Chew the toys, right? <laughs> bite the toys, not the people. It's like light the lamp, not the route. Bite the toys, not the people. <laughs> but he's getting there. I remember Porty. It was like about six months of that, and then he figured it out. Is the end to the unknown. Okay, that's what I thought. And the ending song is so powerful. And David said uh, in there, he said it was uh, like the greatest showman at the end. It does have that, especially when the when the accompaniment drops out for a second and they go a cappella for just a bit. It does have a really, really nice moment there at the end. Um, it just, it's breathtaking, honestly, at the end. And then when you have the fireworks and the hearts that come out of the fireworks, like it's just really, really good. So, I don't know. Oh, sorry. The rumor is Soaring Over California will be around until construction is done and they film a new ending at Epcot. Oh, Imara. Oh, I love that. That fits. Oh, my goodness. That fits. So then Soaring Over California would theoretically be around until they have a time to film a new ending when everything's done in construction. Yeah, because right now, if they did it, it wouldn't be accurate. It makes me emotional for sure. You put out your hope your art and hope anyone gets it. It is true. It's so true. Yeah, speaking of breathtaking, it's so good here at night. <clears throat> Again, it would be perfect if they put a little fountain in the middle. It wouldn't even have to be huge. Maybe one of these days. Please, Disney, please. Please, Dad, please. <laughs> Can we please? Can we please have a fountain right there, please? <laughs> anyway, no, it's so good. So good. Uh, Jack was asking about going back to the song at the beginning, at the end. You know, I heard, I saw you say that in there. It's not a bad idea, but I, I actually like the way they did it. I think it wraps it up nicely. So I, I could definitely see your idea, and if they had done that, I wouldn't have been upset. I think it works fine the way that they did it, too, though. Like about, yeah, like a little mini Fountain of Nations. That'd be great. <laughs> I also know they used a lot of the fountain hardware, which was over, over here by Spaceship Earth on the Moana stuff. They use a lot of the water pumps and stuff that they use on Fountain of Nations in Moana. So I do know that. Um, but yeah, I will say that greatest, the, the idea of the ending like Greatest Showman, that's one of my favorite parts in any song, the, the Greatest Showman. Like when they go to the big break it down, this is the greatest show. Like that's such a huge moment. It's like an empowering, big, giant, like the world is amazing moment. And I think that um, the end of Luminous does the same thing. So... <laughs> we gotta say goodnight to Walt we're not gonna go wait in line but uh, just say goodnight to him from afar alright well goodnight Uncle Walt <laughs> I would say would say I hope you stay dry but you know you're made of metal so I'm sure you're okay but anyway Hope you have a great night. Enjoy looking over your amazing, amazing creation. And I know, again, Walt had the idea for Epcot, but um, never got to see it. You know, of course, it was different than his idea, but I think, I think he would still really like it. And I bet he'd have some crazy ideas and some great ideas to make it even better. A crazy in a good way. Wouldn't that be amazing? Like, what kind of ideas would he have to, to even make it even better? He'd say, this is really cool. What about we do this? Good night, Walt. It, oh, you thought it was a real person? It does look very, very real. He does look very, very real. <clears throat> this is really, really, really well done. Interesting how they've done this. Like, you can't get through this part. It's just the ramps on either side. 
I think is is cool. I don't know. It's interesting. Oh, if, if, if Walt and Steve Jobs could have the conversation, yeah, that would have been interesting for sure. I mean, when was Steve Jobs born? Did they, 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 I'm sure they were alive for at least a little bit at the same time, but they, I'm sure they never met either because Steve Jobs, by the time Walt had passed away, Steve Jobs hadn't done anything yet. They didn't design the Apple One until like, what, 76, 77? They got it was he and uh, Wozniak. No, that was Walt Disney. Oh, hey, Tanina. Yeah, the fiber optics would be cool. Now, they, they gave us lights in the in the floor. I think that, you know, it's not quite fiber optics, but I think it's pretty cool. If you could invite Walt to Disney, what would you serve him? I have no idea. I have no idea. The statue of Walt does look so real. I think he's really there. I agree, it really does. <clears throat> so thanks for staying here, guys. Jobs were born in 55. How interesting. Yep, they were alive for about 11 years together. What Walt passed away in 66, right? But again, they had no, uh, he would have had no idea. You know, um, he would have been, Steve Jobs would have been 11. <laughs> so, you know, he's just a boy. The whole vision of Walt Disney World is his vision, not just Epcot. Yeah, for sure. A self-sustaining community. And Disney World is a self-sustaining community in a lot of ways. Well, thanks for joining me tonight, guys. It was a wonderful evening. Again, hit the like if you haven't already. We got over 2,000 likes on a Tranquil Tuesday. That's pretty crazy. Uh, and we stayed out of the rain and safe for the most part. Don't let me forget, I've got my, got my stuff in my... I had extra stuff in my locker tonight, so i got to go grab the stuff out of the locker after I wrap up. But I appreciate all of you. We'll be live on Thursday this week. Not Friday, Thursday. We'll be live on Thursday at the brand new first of this version, not the first ever, but first of this version of Magic Kingdom After Hours with Enchantment. So we're going to be watching Enchantment just in two days on Thursday. <laughs> Good night. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I love it that the janitors get to say goodnight to everybody. That's pretty cool. All right. Somebody was saying in the uh, Luminous uh, pre-show that sounded like the janitors. I don't, I don't think it is, but it really would be cool if, if, if they did play an intro like that, wouldn't it? All right, guys. <laughs> we got 11% battery left, but we're wrapping it up, so I'm not plugging in. On these nights when it's raining like this, you just it's very it's unsafe to plug in because you could you could short something out. The phones are waterproof, but when you start plugging stuff in, you introduce another variable that can be pretty dangerous. So, anyway, <sighs> thanks for being with me, guys. Please check out all the awesome sponsors. Links are in the description for all of them. We appreciate all of them. We appreciate all of you. Thanks to the Moppers for being so awesome and keeping us, um, keeping us family-friendly all the time. We appreciate that so, so very much. Uh, and thank you. Let's see. Oh, uh, Kathleen just became a, a, a Patreon member. Thank you, Kathleen, for being a Patreon member. Appreciate that so much. All right. Grimace does not need shock therapy. No, Grimace is still pretty dry right now. Do I have a magnet charger? No, I don't know what that is. I just have a regular, um, a regular battery with a regular USB-C cable. One a thousand gigawatts or 1.21, right? All right, let's see. Can I? Yep, I'm good. All right, everybody. Again, thank you so much. We'll see you Thursday night, probably around seven ish. I might be a little late because I've got um, jazz band and stuff at school that I've got to do, but um, definitely um, we'll be, I'll be live, we'll be live whenever we can. Jenna might be live actually, um, starting before I do, and then I might join her when I get ready. So either way, we'll figure it out. I almost couldn't come tonight because there was a school event, but they canceled it uh, because of the weather, which was ironic. But either way, um, next Tuesday, they moved, I have a school event where as a department chair, I have to go and uh, help present some things. So, uh, next Tranquil Tuesday, uh, we'll have to postpone to another time, so there won't be a Tranquil Tuesday next week, but we'll still be, we'll still be live um, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, so I think that'll be good. So, all right, guys, this is a great community. This is a wonderful place. We appreciate and love every single one of you. I hope everybody gets some rest tonight. Stay safe out there if you got storms and snow and rain and wind and all that coming. Stay safe. Stay inside if you can, and uh, we'll, be, we'll see you very, very soon. And again... Um, I hope everybody saw. I did try and stay safe tonight. I did try and stay inside unless, you know, when the worst part of the storm was going on. And uh, So please 
remember to stay safe when there's a storm. Uh, I was always undercover when it was lightning, and so you should do the same thing if you're here in Florida. So uh, I don't want anybody to get a misconception that I'm trying to tell everybody you should run around during the storm, because you shouldn't. So be safe whenever you're around storms, especially here in Florida. And yeah, either way, we'll see you guys um, Thursday as Monorail Blue makes its way around us. All right, Maybe Monorail Teal. Maybe Monorail Teal. Either way, we'll see you soon. Next live stream is, is a Thursday, not Friday, Thursday. All right, guys, so we'll see you Thursday night around 7. Thanks, everybody. Oh, let's see. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Wendy, I know that's so hard. So hard. Uh, hopefully th things are better now. So, all right, everybody, we'll see you soon. So for now, have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye.